Science would have us believe that we have nearly lost our animal instincts. But with discipline, training, you can uncage them and turn a man into a weapon. He wanted the animal, Colonel. You got it. I'll probably be alone to the day I die. I still have work to do. I'm coming for you. Welcome everyone. Today is Monday night. And today we're gonna finish Wolverine. X-Men Origins Wolverine. <clears throat> yeah, yes, man. I I did check the PO box today. Thank you. You sent me did you send me all that stuff? Cause I got uh, a couple movies, Godzilla 85, Zone Fight what, Zone Fighter, uh uh, the Funko Pops, because not all, some of them had like different names on them. So I, I don't know. Did you send me all of that, or was it different people? Out of curiosity, because it wasn't all together. Cadigan, what's up, man? Jason, everyone else in chat. Yeah, but for those of you that have watched. Oh, you only set the Funkos? Who said? Okay, so. Well, thank you for that, by the way. I actually have them displayed right over here. Uh, it was Mark Hamill, uh, Michael Myers, and Chucky. But someone... Who sent me Godzilla 85? Someone sent me Godzilla 85 uh, and, and a set of Zone Fighter on, on, on Blu-ray. I don't know. So I, there was a lot of stuff there. I, th I assumed you had sent me everything. But thank you for what you did. But yeah, I, I don't know who sent me the other stuff. So let me know in chat if it was you. Uh, gonna be lurking while trying to get the last two trophies, MK1. Oh, damn, you almost have that Platinum, Dazi? I'm so behind on MK1. I, I'm actually waiting for Ermac to drop to start playing again, because I like Ermac, and I want to do a video on Ermac. But, yeah, if you guys saw X-Men Origins... Or, oranges. Or, or... Ah, X-Men Origins Wolverine, you know who we fight at the end. The Merc without a mouth. Deadpool. The horrific 20th Century Fox version. So that that's gonna be interesting to see. Uh, let's let me see here. Where are we at? I know we are on chapter four. Let me see Mardi Gras. Okay, we have four missions there, and then chapter five is the Wolverine. Oh yeah, I guess we can finish this today, huh? Oh man, this is such a bad version of Deadpool. It's funny because someone told me they thought I was playing Deadpool today because they saw the emojis. 
Uh, nope, it's Wolverine, but Deadpool is in it. Barakapool, yeah. And it was so goofy what they did, man. They, like, remember they, like, slightly, like, had his eyes cut out a little, or, like, his... His skin was deformed a little around his eyes to like make the diamond shape of his of his mask. It was so dumb. And then they gave him Cyclops' powers, and then he could actually teleport. I, I don't know what the hell like. I don't know what they were thinking when they created that version of Deadpool. They basically gave him all the powers from the comic book version that he uses equipment for, like swords and a teleporter belt, and then it fused it within him, and then just gave him laser eyes. <laughs> so bad. And then the funniest thing about Deadpool, of course, is his, uh, his the mouth he keeps running constantly, not stop, and then they sew it shut. Like, wow, he just made everything horrible. About the character. I forgot how to launch. Here we go. How's the game audio? We good? Think they caught off his eyelids? It's so dumb. Like, why? Oh, because they wanted it to resemble the costume a little bit. Alright, if you wanted it to resemble the character, just do it. Like the actual Deadpool movies do. Oh, it's so bad. The movie already didn't have a great story. That that was just like... The one thing I think the movie did really well was Sabretooth. Sabretooth was genuinely well done. Way better than X-Men 1. But, uh... That's it. <laughs> that, that is it. And Friday we'll be continuing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth in the, uh... Coast of Hell Vacation Island area. So that'll be fun. We'll get some bikinis and mini games. I somehow booted on my way into almost getting the Platinum. Yeah, Ozzy, how was getting the Platinum for uh, MK1? Is, is it hard to take forever? I haven't, honestly, I haven't even looked at the trophies. For that game, like, I haven't even had to look through them. Do, do, do a lot of them require online? Because I, I hate online trophies. I don't play online. What's MK1? Uh, Mortal Kombat 1. I think I have only a few trophies left in MK1. Yeah, I need to do that because... I have almost 100% at MK11 on uh, PS4. Um, I still need to do the PS5. I wanna, I want 100% all the Mortal Kombat games that trophies. Uh, the only one that's gonna be a real bitch is, well, Mortal Kombat 9, but the achievement-wise. Well, actually, I have the PS3 also, but that one's a bitch because there's one trophy that requires you to use uh, each character for 24 hours and. and yeah, no, I'm not gonna get that. I mean, I saw online you could cheese it. You just leave it on pause and put like practice mode, or just keep them doing something so the controller doesn't fall asleep. Maybe I'll do that, but that's it's almost not worth the time investment. I don't know. It's pretty easy, and the online ones are easy. Just to find a friend help. Yeah, I'll probably end up doing that. I, I I want that platinum on my profile. I'm hoping after they get done with uh, the combat pack, because we only have, what, Ermac is dropping this month sometime. Did they, Ozzy, do you know if they gave a release date for Ermac yet? Because he's dropping soon. After that, all we have left is uh, Takeda and uh, Homelander. So I, I want to know what they do after that, because this combat pack has been kind of boring. At least we'll get Movado. I did get a lot of achievements in the game, but the one you're talking about, I couldn't leave the controller without falling asleep. Yeah, what you gotta do, I've done it before for other games, you take a rubber band, like, double knot it, like, double tie it so it's tight, and tie the two joysticks together. And so basically, your camera will always be moving like this in another game, it'll just keep going like this. But in Mortal Kombat, it keeps your character moving a bit, enough for the controller not to fall asleep. And then just wire it with USB so it doesn't kill the battery. I did it with like one or two characters, but then I just got bored of doing it, and I stopped. What were we doing? Oh, we were fighting Gambit here, weren't we? The only good combat pack character in this game is Omni-Man and Peacemaker. I don't even care about those. I'm not a big fan of uh, guest characters at all. Like, I would rather them have actual Mortal Kombat characters. Like Movado, instead of him being a cameo, why didn't we get him instead of, like, Peacemaker or, um, or Homelander, you know? I, mean, I, I don't know. 
and, or Omni Man. Like, okay, cool characters in their own show, but they're not Mortal Kombat characters. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not big on guest characters. Like, I, I'll always pick an actual Mortal Kombat character over a guest character. Chameleon, we got her as a cameo. Like, why not have her actually give her a role instead of just like random mysterious character? God, there's a lot of guys here getting chopped up, huh? Damn you. Oh, I forgot here. Damn, my Wolverine senses. I hate the shocking lot. By the way, Invincible is really good. Second half of season two. I'm on the last episode that I haven't seen, the most recent one. I like it. I'm in the middle of the Contender Trophy. It was just play five combat league sets. Oh, you just had to play them? See, I like that. I hate the ones where you have to like, rank up to a certain level. Because like, I, I don't have time to sit there doing that. Hang tight. I'll be there to give you... Ow! Ah! The last one will be the King of the Hill Trophy. That I'll need a buddy. Well, Ozzy, if you're down, I'll do it with you. Creed. Because I'll, I'll have to do it too. The Peacemaker ending MK1 can be set up for Season 2 of Peacemaker. Since he's no longer in the old DCU. Yeah, I don't... My thing is, if they were going to reset the DCU, just reset it fresh. Clean start. Now we have all these little bits and pieces left over. Only because James Gunn worked on it. And he doesn't want to erase his own work. That's all it was. You see right through that. You played Jason Voorhees in MK11. Yeah, he was pretty cool. Those are the only guest characters I think I've actually like liked. Is the the horror characters? That's cool. But that made me want an actual like yeah. horror movie fighting game. Like I want another Realm Studios produced fighting game where it's just all horror movie characters. Like that. I want the Alien. I want the Predator. Freddy. All those. But like have actual storylines. And it's so cool. I want more of that. Guard, welcome. I don't recall Wolverine in the movie having to go through all this just to talk to Gambit. <laughs> God, such a cool suit. Ah, damn it. Not even that attached to Wolverine, but when I first saw it at home, I was cursing at the screen. <laughs> I saw Deadpool, yeah. So you did see it in the theater? I witnessed that in the theater. And I was real excited about this movie because I love Wolverine as a character. I always have. And then when I saw this movie, A, the movie wasn't really very good. And then B, what they did to Deadpool is like, wait. I remember seeing it in theaters and the guy at the beginning with Ryan Reynolds at the beginning. I was just like, that's Deadpool. I was like, I mean, he's just like a guy with two swords. It's literally just Ryan Reynolds with two swords. I was like, okay, maybe he'll get his costume later. And then he pops up at the end looking like, like what he did. I was like... What did they do? I don't think there's any person out there that's a semi-Deadpool fan that thought that was a good representation of the character. Just found out no, not one. Who would be the final boss character in a horror movie fighting game? It would have to be a top dog. Like, I would say maybe a made-up character, but... I don't know. It would have to be like a real horror icon that like is above all the rest. <sighs> Here's a crazy idea. How about how about this? How about it's like a it's all the universal monsters, but like fused into like a super beast, like Dracula, the Wolfman, Mummy, freaking creature of the Black Lagoon. They just all. I'm, I'm thinking Portrait of Ruin, Dracula, and Death. Like, they just fuse into some monstrosity. Recruit. That'd be sick. I, that'd be cool. Like, if they did that. Make an original character, but it's just like a fusion of all those, like, melted together and has all their abilities. That'd be awesome. And I don't want it more. Man. Can't stand these dudes. Stop disappearing on me. Wolverine cannot be stopped. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking some damage, though. Victor Crowley from Hatchet would be an awesome boss. Yeah, but that's, that's not iconic enough. If you're going to have a movie monster thing, like it, it's got to be something legendary as the big bad. 
Speaking of Universal Monster Movies, Creature in the Black Lagoon is actually a legit really good movie. That's my favorite one. Yeah, that's my favorite one out of the Universal Monster Movies. I love that movie. I mean, they're all good, but that that's my favorite. That, that one's right at the top for me. They're going to remake it a couple years, well, a, more than a couple years ago now with Bill Paxton, but he ended up dying. Oh, yeah, some, whoever sent me a package in the mail, aside from you, yes, man. Someone sent me a, a package. Is that Spiral? Ah, She's in this you game? Again. Mon cher, show our friend here a good time. Au revoir. Or is this a made-up character? <laughs> All right, darling. Let's do this. Uh... Assassin. Oh, it's just a generic assassin? That's Spiral. 20th Century Fox Spiral. <laughs> yeah, it's basically Spiral, but not Spiral. It's just Assassin. Um, I was saying, someone sent me uh, a PS5 game from Limited Run Games called what, Giga Smash, I think. It was like, it's like a kaiju brawler. Kind of like King of the Monsters. Um, and someone also sent me a PS4 Japanese game. It, it's a game where, where it's, it's, I don't know what it is. It's all in Japanese. I can't read it. And there's no English version. It's just all Japanese. I looked it up. It's like something City in Shadow. You're like in a kaiju destroyed city trying to survive. Oh, Godzilla and Ultraman and, and Gamma are on the back. I'm assuming it's nobody here, because you guys have said it by now, but yeah, someone sent me those. I, I don't know what they are, or who sent it. Speaking of Spyro, I'm still trying to develop strategies to make her useful in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I forgot she was in that game. I never used her in that game. They actually introduced her in uh, Children of the Atom, X-Men. Game is such a dick. Such a dick. The only kaiju game I know is Dawn of the Monsters. I have that game too. That's a good game. Yeah, but this one was a physical game from Limited Run. I mean, uh, like I said, I'd say thank you, but I don't know what's in it. That PS4 game was like straight from Japan. Isn't the Spiral Mojo vs. X-Men here? Yeah, uh, Spiral's from Mojo World. And she was always, like, controlling his stuff. I heard Morphin did to her in one of the X-Men 97 episodes in one part. God, that, by the way, that last episode of X-Men 97 was kind of filler, but it was so cool. It, it really made me want a way forward developed beat-em-up for uh, X-Men. In the style of uh, Shredder's Revenge. I want it. I want it so bad. Oh, I hate shielded enemies so much. There. I can't see. That's why I hate shielded enemies. I wish I could just pull the shield off. Oh my god. Alright, you don't want to fight me? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. Fuck that guy. Spiral loose date long shot? Yeah, he likes women with uh, a lot of arms, I guess. <laughs> oh, look. Wolverine's getting stronger and stronger after every battle. Maybe I'll get lucky and hurt the shielded enemies in the middle of the fight. God, the X-Men universe in the movies, like, they had so many weird little cameos, like, throughout the series of major characters. Like, remember Psylocke? Not X-Men Apocalypse! Psylocke was also in X-Men 3. She was one of the Morlocks in the sewers. She's just like a random character. She didn't do anything there. 
so weird that they would do that. Like, she's a major X-Men character. They don't even treat her like one, though. Like, she's always, like, it's like background person. Oh, my lord. I can't stand those shielded people. Come here. Thank you. Second time Mega Man Time episode coming. Wait, what? Am I Resident Evil remake episodes coming too? Oh, well, that's what, what I plan for this month. Uh, Mega Man Resident Evil. I'm actually working on the next Mega Man video right now. It's really good. It's going to be a really good one. So. It's going to be covering the next two chronological games. Mega Man 2 NES. There is a Game Boy version that's not related. And Mega Man Dr. Wily's Revenge. Also known as Mega Man World. Alright, let's go up here. I watched X-Men Origins Wolverine two days before stream. The intro up to the scene Africa was the most interesting. The rest is boring, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well put. And the Africa levels, like here, you just keep going back. They're the flashback levels. But yeah, everything after that was not great. Didn't Gambit, didn't he just fight him, like, in the alleyway, and then he just, like, flew him over to Brigamayo Island and then went away? I remember Gambit was just a tiny part of the movie. It was so weird, too, because, what, the movie was, like, it took place like, in the 70s or 80s, right? Like, the actual present-day story of the movie, which means Gambit would be, like, way older than Rogue in the actual X-Men 1 movie. Although it doesn't matter, because it's totally different. Her Gambit was basically Iceman in that universe. Which I, I thought was weird, but they did it. Oh, look. Uh, do I have to kill that guy? Because he's definitely all the way over there. See? Son of a bitch. I have to go all the way back up here. Just because that one little pea shooter over here doing his, doing his nonsense. Where are you? Target too high for lunch. Doesn't matter, you cannot stop the Wolverine from coming after you. Safe. Wolverine, not stopped. Alright, now let's go over there without getting shot off. Can't wait till X Men ninety seven this week. Every every Wednesday, I wake up excited because of the next episode of X Men. It, it legit feels like a Saturday. Part of me wishes they they air it on Saturday mornings. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Because it it, would, it already feels like a Saturday morning cartoon again. To actually air it on Saturday mornings would have been magical. Oh no! Wait, someone shooting at me again? I heard gunfire. All this for a dog tag. Who's doing that? Oh, by the way, we're almost caught up with the, the games that channel members have voted on. As some of you know, a couple of months ago, I did a bunch of votes. And I did too many at once. <laughs> So I made a comment the other day that we hadn't had a member vote in a while. It's, it's because like I did so many at once that we've been we have like months of games to play. I'll do them less. I'll, I'll do them more spread out now. That way we don't have like so many. Uh, this is one of them. Then Onimusha Four is coming up because I could get it to work now. And uh, the thing in Fatal Frame. Once those are done, oh. I think that was the X-Force. Yeah, that was the X-Force one. Yeah, once those games are done, uh, it's kind of a reset for the channel member games. Like, they're all they're all done. And then we can do more votes. Alright, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna have to do is land in that middle part and lunge at this dick. I think. Yeah. Yeah, like Saturday morning tune or coming home after school to watch cartoons kind of feel yeah, that'd be so cool if they did that on Saturday. I don't know why they pick Wednesday. I wish it was more spread out, because Wednesday I have the Bad Batch. 
I watch Bad Batch. I wake up in the morning while I'm eating breakfast. I watch Bad Batch first, and then I put on X Men '97. The worst feeling is when the show's finally over, and then you're like, "Well, now I have nothing to watch." Let's do this. It's an awful feeling. I need these shows to constantly be rotating. Au revoir. <laughs> Mon frère. Uh. There. I like in uh, X-Men 97 episode whenever Gambit sees Goblin Queen, well, not Goblin Queen, when he sees uh, Rogue and Magneto, like, melting together because of what the Goblin Queen was doing. He was like, Gambit never gonna unsee that. <laughs> this is horrifying. You should never have come to me. You should have come to me. I don't work Wednesday, so it's probably both X-Men 97 and Bad Batch, yeah. It, like I said, it just feels bad when it's over, and I'm like, oh, now what? Now what do I do with my day? <laughs> What's the next Star Wars show coming out? It, it's, is it the Acolyte or Andor Season 2? I don't know. I, I haven't kept up with the dates. Although the Acolyte, I'm not that excited about, really, because I'll watch it, but it's like, I, I kind of don't care about the High Republic era. I, I've never found anything in the High Republic era that interesting. I haven't really been keeping up with it. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll catch up on it one day. High Republic fans seem excited about it, but I, I, I'm not really a fan of that era. Um, Andor, though. Andor is, like... That, that's Rogue One-style Star Wars right there. I loved it. Gambit kicks ass in Marvel's Capcom. He's one of my mains. Yeah, him and Cable were like my main characters back in the day. I also like using Cyclops. I always like using the X-Men characters. I feel like they don't... There was a while where we wouldn't see them in anything anymore. Because 20th Century Fox, Marvel Studios. They're in Marvel's Capcom Infinite. How the hell does Marvel's Capcom Infinite not have one X-Men? There's not one X-Men character in that game. It's just a big advertisement for the MCU. But of course you got Star Lord and Gamora and wait, Star Lord. No, Star Lord wasn't there, right? Was he? I don't remember. No, I don't think he was. Gamora and Rocket were. How the hell? Oh, there we go. They say Apocalypse is unbeatable. He's been beaten several times. <laughs> He's always defeated. We even beat him in the cartoon quite a bit. Yeah, how is this helicopter inside a building? Come on. Give me a freaking break. Man, oh, that frame rate's slowing down like crazy. The game was in slow motion for a second. Whoa, look at that. Man, it feels... What? What? What do you mean? find the Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy kind of boring. I like them as characters, but I, they're, at the time, I felt like there was such an oversaturation of MCU stuff. Like, the MCU side of Marvel kept taking over everything else. Comics, video games, everything. And I like that we're kind of getting out of that now. I'm sure it helps that, that Marvel ended up, you know, or that Disney has 20th Century Fox again under their belt, so they have all their characters now. Almost all. But yeah, there was just no oversaturation. Like, you know, you knew exactly what to expect. Anytime something Marvel new was coming out, it's like, okay, whatever's popular in the movies, that's what you're going to get in the games. I include Ultimate Marvel, or uh, Ultimate Alliance 3 also. The only reason you get half those characters is because they were popular in the movies. That's right, like, I would keep them separate. Let characters in the movies be popular. Let the comics do their own thing, let the games do their own thing. Like, it doesn't all have to blend in so strongly, you know? How did I let Gambit escape? Well, I guess I just wasn't fast enough. What? What am I supposed to do? Is he in the helicopter? I'll do there. 
about Nightcrawler cheesing in the Sega X Men game. Oh, that Nightcrawler cheese, two levels, man. That Shiar level and, and that lighthouse. Oh, Nightcrawler's a lifesaver. <laughs> Maybe I'm going the wrong way. It doesn't help when the games are slowing down. See, the only thing I think is maybe I have to lunge at the helicopter? No, but you won't. You won't do it. I gotta keep going this way, it's the only way to go. Why did I fail before? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it took too long. That Wolverine skeleton. The only Marvel team I care for is Guardians and X-Men since they're more relatable than Avengers. I wonder what they're going to do for Avengers and the MCU coming up. Because we know there's, as of now, two Avengers movies coming. Right, you got Secret Wars and Kang Dynasty, if Kang Dynasty even does come out. That's kind of in the fence right now. But either way, who's going to be the lineup? Because we don't, what Avengers do we even have left? I mean, Thor's out there somewhere doing his own thing. Uh, Hulk's around. But, like, I don't know. There's not really anyone else. Rhodey's around. I guess. I don't know. They're, they're going to have to, like, pull a lot of the new characters in. I guess. Maybe some X-Men. I mean, Beast and Wolverine have been X-Men. Or have been Avengers. My health is low. Slice of dice, bitch. Too bad you can't spam the guns. Yeah, like in DMC2. The game where you just hit square the whole time and you can win. It's such an easy game, I swear. I will say it's not a horrible game, though. People make it seem like it's a bad game. I really don't think it's a bad game at all. It's just dreadfully easy. And completely devoid of personality for Dante, but still. Imagine Terrence Howard who used to be roadie in the first I Am Remember movie game. I, some, the people were sharing memes about that on, uh, on Twitter. That he's going to come back as a Kang variant. I would laugh my ass off. That is funny. Shit, Tony Stark has basically been a Kang variant in the comics before. Oh, God. Wonderful. There. I hate shields. That's what you get. Ah, get off this platform. There you go. Man, I can't wait for the Wolverine game. The new one. The new Insomniac one. I guess it's open world. I don't know. I, I, I didn't look at the beta footage. Or the, uh, not even beta. I think that was still pre-alpha footage, but... I didn't look at any of the leaks. I didn't want to see any of it. So I don't know what kind of game it's going to be, but I hope it's like an open world one like Spider-Man also. But I don't know, maybe it'll be level based. I don't know, because you, you got to get around still. And obviously Wolverine's not over there swinging his spider webs around. He doesn't have them. I want Keith David as Kang. I'll take Keith David as anybody. Keith David's voice is majestic. Hmm. The fact, yeah, the costumes, that's true. We, oh, you know, if they have this costume, I'll be wearing it. <laughs> I can imagine they'll have this. They'll probably have the Ultimate X-Men costume. That was another popular one for a little while. 
There, there's so many different costumes they'll go with. I want Space Wolverine, because that was my action figure when I was in the kid in the 90s. The, the, the little space helmet and shit. <laughs> I wonder if they'll have like an X-23 skin where you play as a female Wolverine. Like all the moves are the same and stuff, but it's just like her. I'm tired of these fake spirals. You're lies. You're all lies. Peace. Cillian Murphy is Doctor Doom. I've actually brought him up before in conversation with my friends uh, that he'd be cool as Doctor Doom. But you know who I really would want? I, to me, the ultimate actor for Doctor Doom is uh, Mads Mikkelsen. Yes, he did play a bad guy in Doctor Strange 1. I don't care. I The, the bad guy in Doctor Strange 1, Cassilius, him, that actor, have him as Doctor Doom. I think that'd be awesome. I, I really like that character, that actor. Uh, Magneto, I, I want them just to keep... They don't need to explain it. Just keep uh, Michael Fassbender. I, he's just amazing to me as Magneto. That's who I want. And X-Men, there's rumors going around that... Uh, I always forget his name. Jim Carlo something. The guy from Breaking Bad, Gus. Uh, at Far Cry 6. There's rumors that he's being looked at for Professor X. I, it's complete rumor, but I, I don't even care about the race change. I would be down for that because he is such a good actor. Like he's just—he's good in everything. He does. That'd be sick if he was Professor X. I'd be down for that because it's not going to be Patrick Stewart. One hundred percent, it's not going to be Patrick Stewart. But I don't care. I want Michael Fassbender to do that. I don't want him recast. He's like you mess with me, Gambit. Come here, Cajun. I like when Gambit was showing Jean Grey how to cook. She was making some flavor. It's like boiled chicken. Comes in with his Cajun spices. Oh, he's getting annihilated. He's getting annihilated. Oh, wait. Oh, he's turning it around. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can't move, man. Oh, uh, now he's running. Yeah, John Carlos Esposito. Yeah, him. Reached to nowhere, mon frere. Trump is doomed. Please no. I don't I don't want leave Trump in home alone too. I don't need him in the MCU. Alright. Although I could see him being Modoc. <laughs> Comic book Modoc, not the Quantumania Modoc. Just imagine, just stretch his face on the Modoc, and he's comic book Modoc. Hands down. It'd be identical. Jean Grey then threw broccoli at him, yeah. I thought that was hilarious. Tell me, man, Gambit probably knows how to cook really well. It's playtime. Oops! Cool costume is symbiote Wolverine? Oh yeah. I'd imagine they will do that. Especially considering since like Spider-Man 2 has like Venom stuff in it. Yeah, they'll probably have all the assets ready to go. Like, yeah, let's repurpose it. Take the black suit and uh, make the Wolverine. We need a new Punisher game, though. Like, what, what the hell's going on with Punisher? I don't know why we don't have a new Punisher game and an open-world uh, Daredevil game. I remember back in the day, they were doing the PS2 one that got leaked. The, the unfinished prototype got leaked by Majesco. But they need a updated, like, Insomniac Daredevil. That'd be awesome. With the armored Daredevil costume, the black and red one. His best costume. There's so many good game ideas that Marvel's sitting on. But you know what? I kind of like what Marvel's doing with the games now. A couple of years ago, because you remember a couple of years ago, Activision, they just gave Activision the licenses to make a ton of random Marvel games. Now, uh, they're treating each game like a AAA game. And they're making sure, like, big name developers do them. And uh, we got Spider Man, we got Wolverine out of it. Uh, it makes me curious. Ha anyone played Midnight Suns, by the way? Because I have a, uh, a $10 uh, Best Buy. I don't even know how I got it. They sent me an email. I have a $10 like Best Buy reward certificate. And I saw they had Marvel Midnight Suns on sale for like 15 or 20 bucks. I was thinking about getting it, but 
I don't know. Has anyone played it? I just it's just not my kind of gameplay, I don't think at all. But I really like the characters in it. But I just I don't want to spend the money on it and just not enjoy it. I don't know. And there's a game of Ghost Rider in it, man. Come on. I bet Jean Grey's chicken was bland and spiny. Yeah, she she probably didn't put any any garlic or onion powder or adobo. That's Spanish seasoning for those who don't know. And she probably just put it in like a hot water and boiled it. <laughs> the worst chicken you'd possibly make. You think she would read some like Master Chef's mind or something? I've been thinking about it, but card-based games not my specialty. Yeah, that's how I feel. Like, I, I'm so attracted to the storyline and the characters. But then it's like, I see the gameplay, I was like, ah, like, I don't like that. Like, that. That game would be right up my alley if it was like an Ultimate Alliance style thing, you know? I mean, it was cheap. Maybe I will, just because it's really cheap. But I, I hate spending money on a game and then playing it. That's how I felt about Elden Ring. Like, I, with Elden Ring, I, I spent 60 bucks on it, which, yeah, most people would say it's worth it, but I didn't like it. I spent 60 bucks on it, and then I fell back because I played it, and I was like, man, I don't like this game. And I spent $60. No, what, 70 is what it was? Brand new. It was brand new one. Right? So it just it sucks, man, to spend that money and then play a game you don't really enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. Did you play Hulk the Pantheon Saga? No, but my god, that game looks bad. I have it on my Steam Deck on PS1. I haven't played it though. I'm saving it for stream one day. She probably just used salt and was like, that's all it needs. Some people do that. Some people do that. I got a friend that, oh my god. His wife always complains to my wife about my friend's cooking. <laughs> And she was talking about that the other day. Like he made some like they wanted to, she wanted to go eat out and he wanted to save money, so he cooked at home. And he, he literally just made some boiled chicken. It has <laughs> no flavor whatsoever. You don't just boil chicken. Like you, you gotta see if you don't season your chicken properly. Like no, the end result is gonna taste horrible. It's all about that seasoning. <laughs> There we go. Oh, now I can do it. Wolverine Tomb Raider edition. Grant, thank you for the five dollars. That actually breaks you out of the the, the top two spot, into the, uh, or that 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 kicks you into the top two spot. There's there's a tie there. It's not the personal, but my best friend graduated from Purdue. He has to work because of that bridge situation. I know you don't like sports. Purdue. Gra Purdue, like the the chicken, is that what we're talking about? What? Well, because we're talking about chicken. You're talking about Purdue. I'm thinking about Purdue chicken. Or is there an actual university called Purdue? I don't know. Might be a stupid question. This guy's done. Fuck that helicopter up. And yeah, I don't really care for sports. The only sport I really enjoyed watching is boxing. It's more like a Hispanic thing. Hispanic families get together and watch boxing matches. I'll catch you later. But lately, it's kind of a joke with a bunch of YouTube who's boxing. It's nothing personal. But my best friend graduated it from Purdue. He has to work because of that bridge situation. I know you don't like sports. There's a ton of different ways you can season chicken. It tastes completely lift, different Bob. depending on how you do it. Yeah, very much. Seasoning is a very cultural thing, too. Different cultures will season it very differently. Likewise, but I'm more into wrestling. Yeah, see, with wrestling, I don't watch wrestling. Not anymore, but when I was a kid in the 90s, like I used to, I think every kid in the 90s watched it. What it, One thing I do like about wrestling is just the spectacle of it. You know, just walking down, like, fireworks shooting out, all costumes and shit. All the showmanship. That, that's one thing I like about wrestling, is all the all the spectacle of it. I think that's what makes it so attractive. Alright. Block! Aww. Alright, 
keep shooting rockets. See what happens. I just need this jackass to do it. I want to say you're going to take a boxing where you can challenge DSP. You know what? I would box DSP. I would. <laughs> if there was ever like some kind of influencer boxing and someone set that up, I would agree to it. Why not? Exhibition match. <laughs> oh man, how do I get this? I actually like boxing. I have a, I have a uh, a boxing bag in the garage. Oh uh, man, that thing! I remember when I bought it. I had to go pick it up at some guy's house. I got it on Craigslist years ago, and I had to go pick it up at some guy's house. It was such a nightmare to bring home. If I would have known, I would have just bought one like at like a I don't know like a sports authority, and just put it together myself at home. But I did it to save a couple bucks, and I bought it from someone. And it just putting that in the vehicle and getting it home was a nightmare. So you don't realize how heavy the bag is. Just like putting the bag in a car and transporting it alone was a nightmare. <clears throat> Where am I going? I don't like this area. There's invisible walls everywhere. Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. Look at this. Uh. I don't know if I should restart checkpoint. Why the hell put that thing over there? You can't get it. In order to box CSP, you'd have to leave the snort fort now. He, he would never do something like that. Yeah, he would, under any circumstances, he would never, like, box anybody. Oh, there we go. Where the fuck? Why are there puzzles here? It's kind of like a puzzle. See, look, it makes it look like you come up here. That's an invisible wall. What the hell, man? I like the thumbnail you put up for your stream. Oh, the, the Deadpool and Wolverine. I had to, uh... Oh, wait, here, can I? Oh, I can move this. I had to trick people to make them think it's Deadpool game. <laughs> I mean, technically, we are gonna see Deadpool. He's in here. Who's that YouTuber that nobody likes that learned how to box? Are, are you talking about um, Jake Paul? Because he learned how to box and then Logan Paul uh, he became a wrestler. I, is he still a wrestler? Is he still doing that? I don't. I don't follow that. I, I thought they were idiots back then. I haven't really followed their careers. From what I've heard, he's actually a decent boxer. Um, uh, but again, I, I don't follow him. I have no idea. It's just what I've heard. He's boxing Mike Tyson. Which, I don't know. Mike Tyson's not in that great shape. Like, he's got selected videos that show him, like, moving around real fast. Like, he's still young. But the guy's still, like, 57. Like, he, there's other pictures of him walking around on a walker. <laughs> like, like, with a cane. But I, I hope he lands one or two hits and just knocks him the hell out. I'm rooting for Mike Tyson, breathing. but age is against him. I mean, you're fighting a guy that's like in his late 20s. That's in shape versus someone in their late 50s that's had health issues. It's weird. Logan Paul's the U.S. champion? WWE? Is he real? How do they pick his champion? Actually, honestly, you didn't know that. How do they pick that? Like, because, you know, it's all staged, obviously. He didn't really win anything. But, like, how do they determine that? Is there, like, a panel of people? They're like, all right, you're going to get the belt? I, I don't know. I don't like Logan, but he's good at wrestling in the ring. Yeah, I, I've heard he's actually entertaining in the ring. I don't know. I, I just knew he was a shit YouTuber. But then again, he had an audience, so... Maybe not. Not my cup of tea. 
See me? All right, we're doing this. Yeah, there we go. Eat that, fake spirals. No, let me get that one. It's on the floor. Oh man. Slice and dice, baby. Ah. The Booker just says there's going to be a champion, nothing fancy about it. Yeah, I remember, I always wondered that as a kid, back when I like, thought wrestling was real. <laughs> yeah, every time there's a champion, you're like, my god, he's a champion. It's like, oh, it's all fake. For the Silent Hill Reject, they're fake spirals. They're called, generically, assassins. And they all happen to have the same amount of arms. I gotta check my stats and see if I can increase. Fighting a lot of those spirals. Let's see what I got. Skill points. Ten skill points. Claw spin. Um, mm, I've been using this one a lot. You know, let's see, you know, let's increase damage on all these moves right here. I haven't really been taking care of those. I wrestled Logan Paul once. He put me in a mean chokehold because I passed out. Man, was my ass sore? <laughs> Did you really? Is that a true story? <laughs> Completely believable. <laughs> oh, man. We need some silent healing this October. Uh, well, what I'm planning on... I, I, I've I been working on my silent hill timeline. Just, it, I probably shouldn't even say that because I'll have someone now... Messaging me every other day asking me when part one's gonna be up. Not anytime soon. But I, I've been like playing through the games and recording footage, and I'm planning for Halloween time to start putting some of those out. I'm gonna enjoy killing you. Ah, such good games. There goes the gambit. Prime Mike Tyson versus Prime Muhammad Ali. That's hard. Because Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali had incredible skills. But the thing about Mike Tyson, like, the dude was a powerhouse. Like, the guy was a mountain of muscle. So I, I don't know. That's hard. Like, if you put them both at their prime with each other, I, I really don't know. Like, take out the ear biting and stuff. Oh, man. And Grant, thank you for the $5. LL, no basketball. Indian. Indian people take it very seriously. Plus, I actually love boxing. Wait, basketball? Indian people take very seriously? Really? One of my best friends is Indian. He hates sports. <laughs> but he's one of those people that, like, if he's with other people, like, watching a sports game together, like basketball, and everyone's, like, rooting for the team, he'll, like, pretend to know what he's talking about. He's one of those people that they'll be yelling, like, explaining the rules, and it's like he doesn't even know the rules. Everyone knows someone like that, by the way, that they don't know shit about sports, but then, like, they'll be sitting there explaining it to someone else like they know. It's like, you don't know anything about this. <laughs> I think most families have that that person. Like, oh yeah, that that's out of bounds. That's traveling. It's like that you don't know. LOL, no basketball. Indian and people take it very seriously. <laughs> Great thing for the two Plus, I actually love boxing. Oh. Indian. Oh, see, you didn't spell it right. See, it's not my fault. He's an Indiana, Indiana with an N. I thought you were talking about Indian people taking sports. I thought you were say Indians. That is hilarious. <laughs> my story still stands. My story still stands. <laughs> oh my god. I take no responsibility over that mistake. Roger that. Watch it. They're flanking us. What side of hell are you currently on? You start from the first game? Uh, I'm going chronologically. Because, and here's why. Because technically, Silent Hill Origins takes place before one, right? On paper. But they don't all, they're not all like, it's not like Mega Man where it's like Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4. They're not all chronologically linked together. Some are just random side games. Some are just taking place in their own little thing. Like, one and three are connected, but, like, two and Homecoming are not. So, I decided I'm just going to go chronologically with them. I think that's going to be the best way to handle those. 
No, I'm I'm sorry, not chronologically. I meant a release order. I'm going by release order on that. <laughs> Is Obama working? The state do. Oh yeah, he is working. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go by release order for Silent Hill because chronologically, going chronologically doesn't really add anything to the series because not all of them. Oh, I said, not all of them take place one after the other. Every Silent Hill is their own story. Well, some of them, like one and three, are linked together. But yeah, mostly. And also, there's no like canon endings for most of them either. So it's like, for example, you know how Resident Evil, like, I don't know, two flows of Code Veronica, you know what happens to those characters. Um, Silent Hill games, a lot of them, I mean, most of them have multiple endings where, you know, based on what you did, completely changes the whole idea of the game. And a lot of the stuff is very, like, open to interpretation. So that that's a series that is best covered like by release. Just covered each game individually. But yeah, there's not gonna be a canon ending for most of them. Isn't one and three somehow connected? One and three are connected, yes. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any others that are directly linked. Because I mean Origins is like a loose prequel, but it's very much inspired by the movie. So there's a lot of little things that don't really fit into the rest of the games that you could poke all kinds of plot holes into. So I, I really consider it its own thing. Just like a general origin to the town's curse, or whatever you want to call it. Um, there's no others that are directly linked, right? I think just one and three, no? They all have, like, loose elements that, that, you know, have something to do with each other, but... There we go. Remember how much Gambit would almost harass Rogue for kissing the 90s? Yeah. He, he was wanting that. He was wanting to be put in a coma real bad. Oh, good. She fell off. Oh shit, that guy went flying. Come on, come on. What about four? Yeah, four was kind of a standalone thing. And if I remember correctly, four, it didn't even take place in Silent Hill, right? Wasn't it, uh, um, what was that town next to like Shepherd something, um, I thought it took place somewhere else. I haven't played it in years either. It's been forever. My favorite Silent Hill, I, I'm sure most people don't agree with this because the game is considered one of the bad ones, but Silent Hill Homecoming. I genuinely, I love Silent Hill Homecoming. I think that game's awesome. Uh, man, I, I remember I, I got that. I remember buying it still. It's one of those core memories. I remember I bought that when I was uh, going to college and on one of our, I, I had, me and one of my friends were going to like university that we had like a four hour break in between two classes. So we'd end up like going to Best Buy and going out to eat lunch and stuff. And I bought it during one of our just like breaks. I just saw it at Best Buy and I bought it. I took it home. I, I loved it. I loved it. But I actually, I got every achievement in that game. I got every ending, every costume. I played the hell out of that game. And that one's very much a standalone. I still need to play this new one, the short message. I keep forgetting about it. I downloaded it too. I just haven't touched it. Fuck off. So bored of fighting these spirals. Same enemies over and over. Homecoming, I had fun with that one. Yeah, it was good. I, I never understood why people didn't like it. Like, people said it was one of the bad ones, but I was like, I don't know, I, I freaking, I like it. It's great. I mean, it's very different, it's very, like, nearly 
combat focused versus like old school Silent Hill. I mean, it makes good, makes a lot of run play, but it's still creepy as hell. My personal favorite, Shattered Memories. That's one of the few I haven't finished because it ran like shit on emulators. I couldn't get it to run. And I used to have it on the Wii, but I don't have a Wii anymore. Um, it actually works well on the Steam Deck. So uh, I will be a Wii and playing that. Version. And that's another one that's kind of like a, a reimagining of the first game, too. Mew. Downpour was horrendous. I didn't finish Downpour. Uh, one thing I thought that was cool about Downpour, though, was the 3D effect. Because that's when 3D gaming was taking off for a while. And that one included 3D, and it looked really cool. But yeah, the gameplay-wise, I, I never finished it. Shit, look at that. I almost fell off. Eat that, bitches. Spam that. Yeah. All this because Gambit's running away. Silent Hill Homecoming is the best Saw game. So you think it's better than Saw and Saw 2 Flesh and Blood is what you're saying. Do you think it's better than the actual Saw games? God, I can't believe I streamed both of those games. Completion. Those games were, were, were very torturous to get through. Especially the first one. With its electrical panel puzzles. Con At least the second one had slightly better puzzles. I say slightly, very, uh... Very strongly. What other games have 3D effects? There were a bunch, man. Back in the day, uh, Gears of War 3 was a 3D game. Uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations had 3D. Uncharted 3. Uncharted 3, they were very much using it to promote 3D. Especially, they had a Sony, uh, they had a PlayStation 3D monitor. That, uh, man, it didn't last. Like, it, it, it went on clearance pretty quick, but it was kind of cool. The problem was, it was really expensive and pretty small. It's like 20 inches or something. It was a small monitor. But it was a PlayStation monitor where it was 3D. And it also had this cool feature where if you were playing a game in split screen, <clears throat> you could both be looking at the same image, full screen, but you're not looking at the other player's screen. It came with the glasses that would do that. I don't know how they did that. But yeah, you'd be playing two players, split screen game, and one player, would be, you'd be both be looking at the same screen, but you wouldn't be able to see the other player's screen. He would be looking at his own screen. It was crazy. But it was called the place. I think it was called the PlayStation 3D. I think that's what they called it. The, the, the PlayStation 3D monitor or something like that. I'm sure they're all sitting like on eBay and clearance right now. People trying to get rid of those. Fuck me. Get out of here. So many. Maybe this mutant is like a clone, like a, like a multiple man kind of thing. And she just has a bunch of copies of herself. Dick! Invisibility won't help you, man. <laughs> you understand why Homecoming's a Saw game? Well, home, Homecoming. Yeah, Homecoming. Yeah, no, Homecoming is very... It feels solid. It's very dark and gritty, too. Then again, Saw does feel kind of silent village. Because everything's, like, industrial. Industrial, like, dark. I miss the days when... 3D used to false advertise that when you watch it in 3D, it actually becomes real like an object over you. See, but I always hated that, like, for me, 3D well done is when, um, it looked like there was a lot of depth to the movie, like, it looked like there was, like, something in the background, something in the foreground. I, I hate it when they, like, made things just, like, come at you, like, it's coming out at, at the screen. 
That's so gimmicky. Uh, but yeah, 3D pretty much killed itself off because like most of the time 3D wasn't even well done. It was just a buzz term. Because for example, like a lot of movies that were filmed that were played in 3D in theaters, you weren't really getting a 3D image. They were converting it to 3D. To get the 3D image in the movie, like, you need to actually film a movie in 3D and 3D cameras. Like, there's a couple movies that did that. Like, for example, Avatar. Uh, Avatar is the one that brought 3D back and, like, popularized it again because it did really well. But then you have other movies that were completely filmed and made in 2D. Like, one of them is uh, Wrath of the Titans. I have the 3D Blu-ray of that. It looks 2D when you watch it 3D. And that's what I mean. Like, that movie was completely made in 2D with 2D cameras, and later, during, like, uh, during, like, post-edit, then they put, like, a 3D conversion filter on it. It's completely different. Most movies were done that way to save money. Not only that, you got to save your family members from Saw Like Torture Games? Yeah. I remember the story in Silent Hill Coming with his brother, too, man. It like, had some dark endings. I hate you so much. Same enemies over and over in this area. And they block like a motherfucker, too. Every person you saved in both saws were so ungrateful, yeah. Well, it, it goes back to the, the theming of the Saw movies. Like, usually these people in the traps, like, it, it, it's hard to feel bad for them. It's just like Saw, the new Saw movie, what, Saw X? If you watch that movie, like, you're kind of rooting for Jigsaw by the end of that movie. Because the people it goes after in that movie, like, are the worst of the worst. Like, they're absolute scumbags. Every single one of them. So it's like, do I cheer for the killer? It feels like it. <laughs> Seriously, if you haven't seen Saw X, the people in that movie are horrible people. And it's like, yeah, I mean, of course you ended up in this trap. Like, what do you think was gonna happen? They, they make this poor guy, like, think he, they're gonna cure him of cancer and give him hope, and he's gonna leave his jigsaw ways behind, and it's just like, yeah, they're bad people. Where am I going? Here's the thought, in the future of VR, movie theaters will be a thing, meaning the next Marvel you watch in VR, you're in the movie. I don't know about that. Like, who's going to want to be sitting in a theater with, like, a headset completely covering their face? I wouldn't. If I really do, like, I want to be aware of my surroundings, you know? Like, if I do that, I'll, I'll be at home doing that. I don't know if that'll take off. Not publicly. And then you get those all the nasty headsets people are touching and, you know, their crusty-ass hands. It's gross. Where am I going? Alright, Wolverine senses. Don't fail me now. There we go. We caught the whiff of someone's butthole. That's how he knows where to go. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that. Please don't make me fight those people again. That's so why you gotta bring your own and plug it in some outlet they have near the seat. Yeah, but I, I could just watch it at home and <laughs> in VR. Like, why do I need to go somewhere to watch them? Like, so I can plug in my VR headset. I'll just watch it at home. It's not like you're getting a big theatrical experience. Like, you're still in the headset. Like, best around VR headsets and Damon Busters? Yeah. I don't know. That's kind of That kind of skews me out. Like you, you put like your sweaty ass face on someone else's sweaty ass face. Man, VR suck. Well, no, I, I see. I don't agree with that because VR is like 3D. It's good when it's done right. You want to see it done right? Play Resident Evil 7 in VR. Uh, Resident Evil 4 VR. Like full experiences, like full games in VR done well like it's a game changer like they're amazing like th that's the best way to play those games but then play something like uh i don't know like batman arkham vr it's cool but it's like an hour long 
That's what I mean. When it's done right, it's really cool, but it's it's not often done right, in my opinion. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Nexus? That game in VR is... Oh, my God. I can't even... It, I'm, I'm making it part of the Assassin's Creed timeline also just to show people that game. Like, the Assassin's Creed Nexus VR is amazing. It's a full-blown Assassin's Creed game also. Just in VR. Like, it's what I've always wanted. Like, you're climbing buildings and shit, and it just... You have to hold the button. Like, when you're climbing, you hold the button down to, like, grab like this with the hands. And it feels... It feels like you're grabbing the buildings and you're pulling yourself up. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Some things are just made for VR. A lot of other things don't need to be in VR. Uh, Star Wars, uh, Rogue, uh, or Star Wars Squadron is great in VR. The game itself is not that great, and the story is not that great, but the VR, like, it, it's made for VR. And it looks really good. It's very immersive. I wish it would play, it plays more like a simulator style game than an actual, like, Rogue Squadron. I wish it was more simple, like a Rogue Squadron game in VR, but... It's cool. It looks really cool. Great VR game is Wraith the Oblivion After. I have not heard of that one. I'm frozen. Oh, never mind. I'm working again. You actually can use the hidden knife. Oh, the hidden blade? Yeah. Like, you have to hold because you use the Oculus controllers. So you hold them like... I, I can't even show you on, like, on screen right there. The, 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 your fingers in the back. They're the back triggers. So you hold it down and you go like that. And, and you're stabbing with the hidden blade. So you can just go up behind someone and, and it just it feels like you're just stabbing someone with the hidden blade. My daughter likes to play it because she likes running around slapping people in the game. <laughs> just random civilians. And it keeps desynchronizing her because it says that like SEO did not kill civilians. Sometimes I let her put it on just to mess around though. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Nexus VR. It, it's if you look up gameplay footage on it, like that's another thing that's hard about VR. You can't really advertise it. it it's because you can't see it. You can show people gameplay footage, but VR is the kind of thing that you can't just you can't just see it. You have to feel it. Uh, being in that game, playing versus watching footage of it in like low FPS, low resolution. It's it's not. You can't get the effect. So VR, I think VR and 3D are always going to be destined to not do well you know among the general public because marketing is everything, and those are hard things to market if you're not actually there experiencing it. You're just telling people what they're going to experience. Zig Gambit. Imagine Doom VR with a gun controller. They have Doom VR. Yeah, they had Doom uh, VF, VF, VFR, I think it's called. Um, I but it doesn't work with a gun controller. Like that would have been awesome with the aim gun. Another product that Sony abandoned. It's over, Gambit. Won't give up yet, huh, my friend? I'm just getting started. All this chaos and bloodbath that we experienced. Gambit just murdered those dudes. It's so cool that Gambit is like a major boss in an x -Men video game. I love Gambit as a character. But they definitely extended this part of the movie very, very drastically. This shit was not this long. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh no, this reminds me of the final battle in Adam Webb. It's, it's by the way, it's above, it's next to a Pepsi sign. That movie is a giant Pepsi advertisement. A Pepsi, the S from the Pepsi logo falls on the bat and kills him. A piece of the Pepsi sign, uh, like fireworks into Adam Webb's face. And that's when she goes blind. It's all Pepsi's fault in that movie. Shit. Coming, man. Oh, you know what? Can I? Hit, I wonder if I can hit those back at him. I can do it with rockets. Oh, yes, I can. Nice. VR on Sea World's Kraken coaster. Why? Lunchbox, have you experienced that? Do they still have that? Last time I went to Sea World, like a year ago. Actually, less than a year ago, I went. 
Um, I, I was curious about it, but I didn't want to do it just because... I, I don't know, it's kind of like, I feel like that's nauseating. Because like VR, but like on a roller coaster, it's actually moving. Or has anyone experienced that? Fuck. Alright, let's do this. Counter attack. Throw some cars at me, man. I swear I'm hitting it back. Oh, I hit him with several. We're stuck in this little area. I can't get out of here. All right, let me, let me jump up. He's so in the one. Also, your son found out it's Tomb Raider VR mod, the classic one? That's interesting. Yeah, VR mods are really cool. Makes you wonder why some of these companies aren't jumping on those. Look, that's gonna, probably going to kill a bunch of people right there. Gambit's a monster. Nitaku coming in big with the 50. Are you setting up Obama again? Oh, no, you're not. Hold on. Let me read your chat real quick. Here, Wraith is available on PSVR for 20. If you want to pick it up, it's a high recommendation set in the W... Oh, it's in the Hunter Reckoning universe? And Vampire Masquerade. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out, man. Thanks for that. Appreciate that. It's very generous of you. Uh, PSV... Wait, PSVR or VR2? Because I don't have a VR2. If it came out a while ago, it'll be PSVR1. Oh, shit. No, that would have killed Gambit. Yeah, I'll look it up after the stream. I'm, I'm curious about that. So it's set in the same universe as Hunter? Like, how many... Man, I'm going to have to look that whole universe up. I feel like there's a bunch of random games set in that. That, uh, that universe that I don't even know about. By the way, that's going to be our uh, Monday game after, uh, another, after this. Hunter the Reckoning. I'm so tired. <laughs> Let me get to the other side. Here, Wraith is available on PSVR for twenty dollars. If you want to pick it up, it's a high recommendation. It's set in WOD, same as Hunter the Reckoning and Vampire the Masquerade. The douchebag. Remember when X-Men made their own Infamous game? Infamous? What are you, X-Men? What are you talking about? What game? You're not talking about X-Men Destiny, are you? I actually liked X-Men Destiny. I didn't hate that game. I, I liked making my own X-Person. Son of a bitch. Oh my god. Gambit should not be giving Wolverine this much trouble. Well, actually, maybe he should. Because he throws like high energy and shit. Don't make me mess you up, pretty boy. You know, there's this one of my favorite Gambit moments um, is in uh, Civil War. When Marvel Comics was doing Civil War, not the movie version. When they were doing Civil War, Gambit and Captain America are going at it. And it's one of my favorite Gambit moments, but not, but Gambit does not win. <laughs> He's fighting Captain America, and he, he touches Captain America's chest and, like, charges him up. And I was like, oh, shit. Captain America's, like, about to explode. And then, of course, the explosion happens, and Captain America's still standing. And Gambit's like, oh, shit. It was such a... I guess it's more of a Captain America moment, right? But it involved Gambit. It was in the Civil War comics. It's so good. Like, Gambit's got no chance against Cat, man. No chance. Where'd he go? Oh. How does Gambit jump that high?
There. Oh my god, come on! They're like little fireballs. They don't even feel like playing cards. Mono, welcome. Welcome to the Wolverine finale. Well, we would be fighting Deadpool, but we're fighting Gambit. Yeah. Into the Awakening, Changeling, the Dreaming, and others. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look up a whole list of that series. I hope I like Hunter. It look, I, I looked up some a uh, little bit of gameplay. It looked really cool. You know, it kind of reminded me of the Van Helsing game, uh, based on the Hugh Jackman movie, and I like that game. That movie was good too. I am so tired of this. I'm trying to block this shit. They won't. Oh, here we go. Now we messed them up real good. There you go. Good dreams of ever joining the X-Men. I think he's stuck. I think he's stuck. Lunge doesn't do that much damage. I wish there was another darkness game. Oh, you're talking about comic book? The comic book of the darkness? I have the darkness one and two. I remember liking the first one and our finish it. What was the guy's name? Like Jackie Astacado? I think it was the character name. My health is so low. I'm actually taking damage now. Fuck. Who knew that Gambit would be the one to do in Wolverine? Oh, never mind. Whoa! Who knew that Gambit could take so much damage? Just getting stabbed in the face multiple times by Wolverine. Gambit's mighty powerful. Why'd you save me? You're no good to me, dead. I need info on the island. Why? Because I'm looking to find Creed and Stryker and end them. A lot of men tried that, and a lot of men died. Well, I got an edge. That you do, mon frere. You really gonna kill them? They must have wronged you pretty bad. I like how after all that, they're it's just calmly speaking. Good. It's a long trip to the island. You can tell me on the way. This gambit looks like shit. Oh, yeah, he looks awful. <laughs> He looks so much worse than the movie. It wasn't supposed to be like this. It wasn't supposed to be the last mission. Okay. Back to Africa we go. To get that village. Huh. Scan shows three possible paths. Copy that. Dukes, you got path B. I'm reading lots of bio See, I think that was the end of uh, the Gambit chapter, right? I think we're in chapter five in the last chapter. The Wolverine. Do I have the dark? Yeah, I do. I think I do. Let me go look. Roger that. Logan out. You know, I'm gonna put these game aside. Anyone know if these are backwards compatible? I do have them. I have. See the darkness one. I think I got a custom. Yeah, I got like a custom. I used to do this all the time. I used to print out. I wasted so much ink printing out like custom covers. That's like a custom cover that someone made on the internet that I printed. The game's legit though. It's just the cover is a. Uh... Yeah, the cover I think was. A... Yeah, that was a fake one I printed. And then the darkness two right here. Limited edition. I need to play these. I'm gonna put them aside. I gotta check their backwards compatibility. <clears throat> By the way, uh, you guys heard uh, Microsoft uh, in like leaked emails. They're actually forming a, a like a game preservation team. 
there's no official details on exactly what they're doing, but they're gonna really focus on backwards compatibility and bringing back older games. I like that. I, I hope they, they they stick with that. And they're full guns blazing on the next gen console. Next next gen, I guess. Darkness one is a bit slow, but great. I remember it starting off a little slow. But yeah, it's been. I, I haven't played since it came out. I remember just the little monsters that are on you, like eating people's hearts all the time. It's like Venom almost. Darkness, the game you can sit and watch the entirety of To Kill a Mockingbird. Oh, really? I like when games do that. Like, I was watching a. Uh, high on life. I was playing that on Game Pass a little while ago, and I was so shocked. That movie, uh, with the dinosaur, Tiffany and the dinosaur, something in the dinosaur. Uh, the whole movie is in the game. Like, I was sitting there watching it, and I was like, oh my god, it's the whole movie. <laughs> it's hilarious. So random. That's interesting. Who published Darkness Comics? Wasn't it Dark Horse Comics? I'm not even sure. Top Cow. It's Top Cow. The same ones that did, uh... I know them from As Aspen. Is Top Cow even around anymore? I don't even know if they're still around. I think they did the Aspen comics. Some other stuff. With Jenny and the Couch, right? That was amazing. Yeah. I was watching it and I was like, oh, they have like these long ass clips, but then I ended up watching the whole movie. And then I was gonna buy the Blu-ray of it, but the Blu-ray was kind of expensive. Such a random movie. Yeah. It's a good game though. You should also play Prototype. I have it on uh, Xbox One. They had the, uh, it wasn't even a remaster. It's just the uh, one and two uh, port on Xbox One. Oh. Yeah, this is this is Wolverine Uncharted, by the way. I tricked you guys, we're not playing Wolverine. This is Uncharted with a Wolverine DLC, if you will. Yeah. Top Cow also did Witchblade, yeah, and they did uh the Tomb Raider comics for a while. And then they had the Witchblade crossovers. I was talking to a buddy about this earlier today. We were talking about like how bad like Marvel and DC comics have been like in recent years. But, like, there's still some good comic book companies out there. People forget, like, it's not just Marvel and DC that make comics. Uh, there's a good, um... Cobra Commander series right now. The G.I. Joe comics are really good right now. The modern ones. There's the, one, there's the Cobra Commander one right now. That was, like, his, uh... They went into, like, his origin, and, um... He got put in charge of Cobra. And they reveal at the end that, um... He's got Megatron... I was like, man, you know, you know we're going to see that in a movie. He's got Megatron all chained up. And I was like, yo, like, Cobra, they've got Megatron. And then at the end, Megatron smiles and his eye glows red, like he's letting them capture him. Oh, we need that in a movie. In my head canon, that's why we haven't seen Megatron yet in the new Transformers movie universe. Because Cobra has him. That's my head canon. Shadow Phoenix, welcome. Which play? Which play had an anime? I didn't know that. Occasionally, there's still good Batman Elseworlds. I read an interesting one called Batman: The Last Night. I know that one. Yeah, that one's good. I, I haven't read it, but I know that one. Um, the fans have universally liked that one. Yeah, I mean, there's still some good story arcs out there. Like, Batman's still really good. Green Lantern's still pretty good. But, um, just as a whole, I think, like, just the mainstream, like, Marvel and DC comics. And I think it's because these companies are so focused on movie making that the comics kind of take a backseat a bit. Um, I'm not basing that on anything. That's just my own personal opinion. But it, it seems to, the timing seems to work out to when the comics started getting kind of good. But I find that the whole, that the good comics out there still are um, not like the typical superhero stuff. You know, like G.I. Joe, things like that. Um, 
Ninja Turtles, uh, the last round, and got a sequel, which is really good. And it has a new, a new group of turtles that got made. <laughs> There's new turtles. There's four new turtle brothers. That's sick, man. Uh, what else? Assassin's Creed comic books were always good. Those were made by Titan Comics. And they're very much part of the in-game universe. What's the last good Marvel DC story before he came in? I don't see. I, I stopped reading them completely. Alright, the last one I remember reading that was really good. See, I don't know. DC, like, I stopped reading DC. Sometime, like, halfway through the new 52. Like, before they started doing the convergence and they were basically racing it. Because I was one of the few. I did like the new 52 reboot, the relaunch of the DC Universe. I thought it was really good. But apparently it wasn't well received. And, uh, yeah, they were they started racing it. So that's when I, I jumped ship. Marvel? I, since the Ultimate Universe died. I was a big fan of the Ultimate Marvel comics. Um, but then they started becoming so much like the classic universe that it was pointless. Like, the cool thing about the Ultimate Comics were, like, how gritty and, like, realistic they were. It was like, man, it's like, what if this was our world, but these things existed. That's what it felt like. It felt real. Um, and then it just, again, it just felt like regular Marvel Universe after a while, so it made it pointless. So, I don't, I don't know about Restoryline. DC Blackest Night... That was a really good series. That's straight up classic. Slice of dice. I'm the best at what I do. See, there's individual comics that are good though. Like Frankencastle. <laughs> the Punisher when he was Frankencastle. That shit was fun. I like those little stories. Every once in a while you'll you'll get a a, a very good character specific, like graphic novel volume. And that's one of them. See, Tomb Raider. This is Tomb Raider. Again, we just finished Tomb Raider and we're playing it again already. See? Next week we'll be starting Tomb Raider 2, by the way. Starring none, no one else but Lara Croft. Ultimatum is a shock and gore. Yeah, I, didn't, I like the idea of Ultimatum. Basically, Magneto lost his shit. And then Doctor Doom was manipulating him to lose his shit. But then they ruined it. Because it just became a violent gore fest, killing off every single character, like, random. And, yeah. Uh, it was all, it just, it wasn't good storytelling. It was all just shock value. They killed off so many characters just, just for the hell of it. And also, they undid Doctor Doom because then it turned out that wasn't the real ultimate Doctor Doom. It was Susan Storm's mom disguised as Doctor Doom. And I was like, oh, okay, well, they ruined that. <laughs> Because they brought back Ultimate Doctor Doom with goat legs. Which I was never a fan of either. Revenge, welcome. The last good Marvel stories for me were War of the Realms and Absolute Carnage. War of the Realms is good. I, that's the one I was talking about previously where the, the good War of the Realms one was the Punisher one. Like, I, I love when they do that. They do those big multi-story events, and then, like, individual characters will get their own chunk of it. The Punisher had an awesome one. I've talked about it before, but he's just, like, hunting trolls and elves. Like, all these heroes are just... The, the, the invasion of the realms are over. And then the Punisher's still running around, like, hunting little trolls and shit. It's so goofy, but it's so good because it's the Punisher. The Punisher doesn't care who you are. He'll come after you. Whether you're a giant fro a frost giant or not. I gotta cover those stories. See, I wanna on my channel I wanna cover some stories like that, some side stories where it's like some random shit like that. Like, you know one of my favorite videos I did that wasn't very long? It was one of those quick videos I did. It was uh and it, it didn't get that many views, but I really enjoy uh that predator video I did last year. Uh Demon Gold. I was covering the Demon Gold. Uh, did anyone watch that video out of curiosity? It was Predator Demon Gold, and I talked about that mini uh, comic book story where the Predators hunting Nazis. They're finding treasure in, like, some village in, like, Peru or something. And uh, 
the Predators start to kill the Nazis one by one. It's a really good little story. I, I want to do more videos like that where it's just like small comic side stories. I like the Predator ones. Those are fun to do. Ultimate Reed Richards got dirty since he was rejected by Ultimate Susan. I don't like what they did with him. He's not even Ultimate Reed Richards anymore. He's just some crazy villain to make him. And the new Ultimate Universe, he's the reason it's the way he is. He just he runs that universe with a bunch of other villains. He, he lost his shit. I don't know. I was never a fan of that. Because he wasn't even Reed Richards anymore. He's just some crazy villain. And then Susan Storm ended up with, with, with Ben Grimm. It's just I weird. Win. You lose. You lose. I watched that video, it was amazing to watch. Yeah, I want to do more of those. I did the one about the pirate gun, which I now is is non-canon, I guess you could say, because they did that story in Prey, <laughs> and it's completely different than the comic book. But you know what? We have two versions of the story now, and you can pick the one you like. It was either a pirate gun or like that, that French guy that, that, that gave, uh, what's her name, Nairu? No, uh, the, I forgot her name. Uh, the Comanche girl from Prey. Fantastic movie. I'm so mad about that movie because I wanted to buy it on 4K Blu-ray. I should have gotten it when it came out. It was like 15 bucks. And now the other day I went on Amazon to look for it on 4K. That movie, people are trying to sell it for like 40 or $50. That's it's ridiculous. Because it's not, I guess it's not like a wide release or something. I don't know. I want that movie real bad. And yeah, I know it's on Hulu. I don't care. I want the Blu-ray disc. The 4K Blu-ray. But yeah, they're charging a, a, an ass load for it for some reason. Predators fought both Wolverine and Batman. Predators fought everybody. Everybody everywhere. Shit, he's a Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Still playing? You're still playing Flat Smash Brothers on 3DS online? Is it still on? Wasn't it supposed to shut down like two hours ago? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. I thought the 3DS stuff was already shut down, like a while ago. And it's talking thanks for five bucks. One game series I've really been itching to play lately is Soul Reaver. You know, I was playing it the other day. I was testing it on the Steam Deck. So far, most of the Soul Reaver games work really well on Steam Deck emulation. Uh, I had a lot of issues with um, Legacy of Kane Defiance uh, on PC emulating it and on Steam. It works fine on my Steam Deck on the, uh, I believe it's the PS2 version I have. So I, I definitely want to stream those games sometime, but I would like to do those in chronological order. God, they just haven't aged well. They really haven't. Especially Blood Omen 2. Blood Omen 2 is boring. Like that one is boring. There's a reason people call that one the black sheep of the series. It's not bad, it's just boring. Oh! I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> One game series I've been really itching to play lately is Soul Reaver. Okay, Obama's a Soul Reaver fan. You're such a 4K nut. Absolutely, I am. I'm a video file. So they call it video and audio files. I want top of the line video and audio quality. Only way to watch movies. Only way. If you want to watch them properly, that is. Unless you want to stream it with that compressed ugliness. Gross. Dougie Kane would be a great addition to stream one day. Yeah, I'd probably want to start with Blood Omen, though, but Blood Omen, man. Blood Omen is hard to play. Especially the PS1 version, because the loading times are atrocious. Ultimate Comics made Kulk a cannibal. That was dumb. Well, they also made Blob a cannibal. He ate the wasp. It's just weird, man. I don't know why they did all that weirdness. A 
you the best they got? Hey! They said the final day and time of Nintendo Online on 3DS and Wii U was April 8th, 4 p.m. Which was almost two hours ago. Maybe they meant 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific, because that would be... No, that would have passed already. I have no idea. I wonder if you log out completely and log back in, I wonder if you get back on. Because I know uh, Halo 2, I think it was, when the original Xbox Live uh, was, was still kicking around. And they were shutting it down. On the last day, people kept it running for a while. Because they just couldn't exit the game. They just kept it going. But eventually, they were they were kicked out. So I'm wondering with that kind of situation. Well, some people are playing it and just keeping it alive for a bit. Speaking of cannibalism, have you been watching Invincible? Yeah, I'm all caught up. Except, with the exception of the the last episode. I'm on the very last episode that's currently on it. It's such a good show. I really like Alan the Alien. Ultimate Adventures were interesting, so saying are good people. Yeah, oh, I I didn't make this up. I read someone say this about the Ultimate Universe once online, and it it's the best description of the Ultimate Universe. The Ultimate Universe, at least when it first started, was basically the Marvel Universe, but all the heroes are assholes. <laughs> that's basically, that's the Ultimate Universe in a nutshell. Everyone's an asshole. It's true. Like, especially, like, Ultimate Daredevil, when he meets Spider-Man, like, he treats Spider-Man like a little, like, like a dick, like he's a kid. Uh, and, and Ultimate Daredevil is such a prick. He's not nice to him at all. Yeah, no, the, the Ultimate Avengers were, were, they were all assholes. And they were basically government weapons. Which caused the invasion in Ultimate Avengers 2. The invasion of America by the Liberators. The ult yeah, exact Sarix, that's a good way to put it. Ultimate version is their version of the boys. Yeah, not as graphically intense, you know? As mature, but kinda. It's like a realistic take on superheroes, but government owned superheroes. Like they're assholes. I remember uh <laughs> Oh my god. I remember the Ultimate Universe, what set the Hulk off. What made the Hulk go completely... Look at this, we're talking about Marvel in a Marvel game. We're actually talking about something relevant to the screen. Isn't that amazing? We never do that. <laughs> but in the uh, Ultimate Marvel comics, I remember what set the Hulk off was that he caught Betty Ross having dinner with Freddy Prince Jr. It's such an outdated thing. She was eating dinner with Freddy Prince Jr. and he went and pumped himself with the Captain America serum and the Hulk formula and then... He became Grey Hulk and he was uncontrollable. Like, I will eat Freddy Prince Jr. Oh, that scene, by the way, in X Men Days of Future Past, at the end, when Magneto has like, the president and on all the people in the stadium surrounded by cameras. Uh, like, he's got all the cameras floating and he's about to execute them all. That's straight out of the first story arc, Ultimate X Men. Except Wolverine stopped them. Um. Instead of Mystique shooting him, but they they pulled that straight out of the Ultimate Comics. He was uh gonna kill the president. He was actually gonna kill George W. It was George W. Bush in the White House. In that scene. Did you see Solar Eclipse? I went outside and looked. No, not with my bare eyes. I mean, the glasses and all that. But like, where I am in Florida, you couldn't really see a whole lot. There was like a little, look. You could see like a little piece of the moon. It was like covering. But that's it. I wasn't in like the direct path. So it wasn't that impressive over here. So Ultimate Captain America is Soldier Boy in that universe. Yeah, kind of, yeah. I mean, no, he's still a good guy, but yeah, he's he's a completely soldier. Like, he's not afraid to like pull out a machine gun and fire at someone and kill them. Like, he's a soldier. <laughs> Instead of Mr. Stars and Stripes that only kills when necessary. Alright, so it's this way. All these Africa levels, they feel... Oh, I got hiccups. They all feel the same. Patrice, welcome. What'd you miss? You missed the battle with Gambit. 
now we're back in Africa, and this is yeah. the final chapter of the game. Which will lead to a battle with fake Deadpool. Fake that uh, Breadpool. I don't know. It's not Deadpool. What would be a good fake Deadpool name? The only thing I think of is... What, what lines up with dead? Bread? Lead? I can't think of anything else. Deadpool. Deadpool. We're gonna fight Deadpool. Because it's not Deadpool. Ultimate Peter Parker wasn't a dick. Yeah, but everyone treated him like shit because everyone else is a dick. Like Black Cat when she kisses him instead of having them or them having a romance like in the classic universe. He's all excited because he's about to kiss her and she pulls his mask off and she sees a pimply teen. Or he takes a mask off and she's a pimply teen and she panics. Because she's like, you're just a little, a little kid. And she's like, like uh, she like freaks out and wants to like throw up. That's what I mean. Like everyone treats him like a dick. Or everyone's an asshole around him. Love comics over movies? Yeah, I mean, comics are a source yeah. material. They're always going to be the go-to, you know? Yeah. Although I do prefer the Infinity Gauntlet storyline that they did in the movie over the comic books. Um, to be real, let's be real for a second. <laughs> the Infinity Gauntlet storyline, how Thanos got all the Infinity Gems and how it all went down in the comics, it was never that good of a story. <laughs> It's a classic story. It's an easy go-to for, like, a big crossover event. But the story itself, like, what, uh, what was it called? There's the graphic novel where he's actually collecting the Infinity Stones. I forgot what it was called. He's just running around the universe. Thanos, by the way. He's just running around the universe collecting them from, like, random nobody characters. Like, it's not interesting. <laughs> the original Infinity Gauntlet story has been so, like, romanticized now as, like, one of the best Marvel stories. It was never that good. It was just an easy story to get all the characters you together. Like, the me. movies actually improved the story. A ton. Go back and read the Infinity Gauntlet storyline. I promise you it's not that good. And not to mention, Doctor Doom was heavily involved in that story. And while, while they were all trying to get the, the gauntlet from Thanos, he was trying to steal it too. In the comics, Thanos is a massive simp. Well, yeah, Thanos in the comics, he's a completely different character. Um, I I do think the movie improved the character, because I in the comics, like, yeah, he's an easy character to come and, and you know, fuck everyone's day up for a moment. But, yeah, he's obsessed with, with, with Lady Death. He's very much a simp. But, um, I don't know. That's one, that's one thing I think the movie did better. Like, if they had just adapted, and this is why, like, I don't mind when comics aren't necessarily accurate to their original storylines, because had they done the Infinity Gauntlet story the way it was in the comics, I, I don't think it would have been anywhere near as good. It's just not a good story. And they would have had to introduce, introduce Adam Warlock way earlier. Which, and Guardians of the Galaxy 3, by the way, that Adam Warlock was Adam Warlock in name only. That was not Adam Warlock. He was basically a joke character at the end of the day. Darkseid is greater than Thanos. There, I said it. Uh, comic or movie thing? Darkseid. Because we barely got movie Darkseid. But I, I agree with you, talking In general, Darkseid, I think, is a better character than Thanos. Uh, and I think he's more interesting than Thanos. Unfortunately, we never got him in the movies. Hopefully, we will. But we got him in the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League. And he was just... That little bit that we saw at Darkseid was amazing. And it was just a tease. Hopefully they fix all that and give us, like, a good Justice League movie eventually. Because the Zack Snyder Justice League movie was great. That's, the, that's what we should have gotten from the beginning. Comic and animated. I love the animated version of Darkseid. I especially love it when Superman fought him. And then Superman decided not to hold back. Beat the shit out of Darkseid. It was amazing. Could have been the Hulk storyline since they're kind of boring. The only exception is the introduction of Hulk. I think all the good Hulk storylines were pretty much like in the 90s. Um, I thought it was interesting whenever um, Hulk started getting a personality of his own with uh, Professor Hulk. When it was like Bruce Banner mentality with the Hulk strength. Um, 
but yeah, Hulk, I, I don't know. He's one of those characters that have, like, these giant, like, iconic storylines compared to, like, like, Spider-Man. Like, you know the symbiote storyline, like, you know, Kraven's last hunt and all that. Like, I feel like Hulk doesn't have as many, like, iconic storylines. The Snyder Cut, you can feel Darkseid's presence? Yeah. I think it's... Uh, and at the end, when they, they, they send the Steppenwolf's head flying back to Darkseid, and he's sitting on the other side of the portal just, like, glaring at them, like, you're like, oh, my God. Like, Darkseid was scary. Like, they, they did a good job with him. Like, you knew, like, this motherfucker's out there somewhere, and he wants to come over here bad. But, yeah. They, uh, they did nothing. Have you ever read Sandman? No, I, I know. Didn't they have, what was it, a Netflix series? I've heard it's really good, though. I, um, I started, I think, well, I think it was a Netflix series, right? That they did. I started watching it, and then I fell asleep. I was watching it late at night, and I just, I never really, um, gave it another shot. I've heard that is good, though. Oh, look. I am so tired of these Tomb Raider puzzles in the Wolverine game. What am I doing? Oh, we have to do that again. Yeah, we have to do it again. Damn it. These Africa sections even end. The most interesting episode of Justice League was when Darkseid asked Superman for help and Superman refused, which shocked Justice League. I mean, yeah... Logically, why would he, though? It's like, no, of course I'm not going to help you. He's asking one of your greatest enemies. I'm not sure what to do there. But when you realize Darkseid could have just Omega Beamed, yeah, but I don't know. That I, I guess he uh, maybe didn't think of it at the time. He could have at least Omega Beamed one of them. Like, he could have gotten Batman easily. Just boom. Omega Beam. Batman's fried. How the fuck? How did I get that one to stay? Didn't they do something stupid in the comics recently where Batman got Omega Beamed and it was the death of Batman? And then it turns out that the Omega Beams actually, like, locked him in some other dimension. And then he came back. There's some stupid shit. There's, that's the thing about comic books, man. When they kill off characters, like, you know it's going to be some stupid shit that brings them back. Some goofiness. I mean, that's expected nowadays. Oh, you know what? I bet you have to go to this one real quick. Watch. I think I know. There we go. Wolverine's puzzle solving. Death and Return of Superman did it, right? Yeah, I, don't, I, I think it's just such a cop-out, though. You know, comic books, whenever, like, you have something like that, like, you know, Mega Beans, that, like, you see it, like, disintegrate someone, but, of course, you know, like, as a comic book fan, like, okay, well, he's not dead. He's in another dimension. Like, it's kind of dumb. They, they, they... They give powers like that, those like sub abilities, just to create an explanation for a character's survival. Like realistically, would would, would Darkseid be more interested in using a power that sends you to another dimension, or would he just want to fry you? <laughs> like he probably would want to fry you. We too, yeah, we are Tomb Raiding again. Even though we beat Tomb Raider, now Wolverine's turn to to raid these uh, African teams. 
fighting the same uh, A and B type enemies over and over. Here, let, let's get you over here. Spikes, there. It's not saying much, but Gotham Knights great in Suicide Squad. I actually liked Gotham Knights. I thought that was a good game. It was a little rough around the edges, but I really enjoyed it Zelda, overall. Wait. I liked the gameplay especially, oh boy, and it had a complete time. story. Ah. Suicide Squad doesn't have a complete story. Suicide Squad is not a finished game, still. Sarah Xavier is 16 months membership. Excellent indeed. Yeah, Gotham Knights is way better than Suicide Squad. Not a perfect game, but it is way better in comparison. I agree with that. I actually enjoyed that one. And it feels more like an Arkham game than Suicide Squad did. Even though, again, Suicide Squad wasn't intended to be an Arkham game, just take place in the future of that universe, regardless. <laughs> it, 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 Gotham was better. Suicide Squad Season 1 was a mess. D is Season 2 already out with the jo Joker's out already, right? I just don't care. And, and I know it, it's, it's a fucking grind. You have to grind just to do the missions to kill another Brainiac. And every season is going to be that over and over and over. Like, they... Oh, my God. They really messed that game up. They really messed that game up. It could have been good. Again, at least Gotham Knights. At least it was a full game. It had a, a beginning story. and it, it had a beginning, middle, and end. Did I stream that game? I streamed it, right? Yeah, I did, Caddy, because I remember you came and helped with the Man Bat mission. I did stream it. I am glad I didn't stream the Suicide Squad. Honestly, it would have been a waste of time. It's not It's not even fun to play, so... Funny you're playing a Marvel game and yet we're talking about DC. At least we're talking about comic books. <laughs> Usually it's some random conversation. But we were talking about Marvel. We talked plenty about Marvel today. It's all same shit. Superheroes and clones and robots and aliens, character time, coming back to life with very, very loose explanations. It's all the same. I hate these teleporters. Alright, I need I need to heal. I need to get out of here. Omega Sanction was explained in Mr. Miracle Comics. I don't like it. If you have eye lasers, I just wanted to, like, blow shit up. <laughs> That's it. They're eye lasers for a reason. Would you watch Madam Weber the Fog remake for $1,000? I'll watch any movie if you give me $1,000. <laughs> if you give me $1,000, I will literally watch any movie multiple times a thousand dollars to watch a movie sure why not <laughs> why not i think anybody would take that deal omega sanction is a fate worse than death i'm well that may escape now. <laughs> so i guess anyone can right by the way, for those that kept up with DC, did they ever bring back Alfred? Because, uh, Bane killed him. Conclusively. Conclusively. Did they bring him back ever? Fuck it. Hey. Get my ass kicked here. I gotta back out. Son of a bitch, man. How many of these titans have I got? Magma titans. You know what one of my favorite Justice League moments are? I've talked about this before, but I, I think it might be my favorite. Justice League animated moment of all time. It was in Justice League Unlimited. You had the episode with Booster Gold. Where he, like, basically saves the, the, the Earth. Of course, no one really knows he did it. Because he doesn't get credit for shit. But, uh... 
at least I think it's the same episode, but there's an episode where, like, he's, like, helping people, uh, like, evacuate or something. And then some little kid goes up to him, and he's like, can I have your autograph? And then Boozer Gold's like, sure, and he signs it. And the kid's like, oh man, I thought you were Green Lantern. And they like, I'm not even green. That shit was comedy gold. I want to see that done in live action. That was hilarious, man. It's true though, he's right, he doesn't look anything like Green Lantern. Stupid kid. Alright, my health is mostly bad. I hate these guys. See, I have to hit their weak point. I can't even, like... I'm stuck in the damn corner. Oh, yeah, I love that episode. It's hilarious. I like those... I, I, that's one thing I liked about Just League Unlimited, that it had a lot of these little side episodes involving other characters, that it's not just, like, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. You, you had all these other Justice Leaguers that they were, like, the, the B-list and C-list people that they focus on. So either yeah, Alfred's the last person I want to fuck with in Gotham City. Alfred would grab a shotgun and blow you away. He doesn't care. <laughs> Al Alfred will do what needs to be done, man. And then he'll cook you a meal. Oh, I'm serious. Look at its health. It's got nothing left. I'm just trying to get behind it. Oh my god, I hit... There. Got him. And head came off. Fatality. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> Man, it's former British military, you'll fold you, yeah. That reminds me of that Pennywise show, the Alfred show. That show, I thought that show was super boring. Honestly, that was kind of pointless. Because, like, you, you could have called that, like, any spy show. It wouldn't have necessarily, like, had to be an Alfred show. I didn't care for it. I stopped watching it. I, I got bored of it. What, it only lasts, like, two seasons, right? They do not stop coming! I get a lot of experience points here. I gotta get rid of this. He's one time. Man. There. Imagine one of Batman's enemies managed to kill him. Alfred would hunt them down. John would be your style, maybe. Speaking of uh, Dare, uh, Punisher, did you guys see the. They got a bunch of set photos from the Daredevil show that's coming back with, with the Punisher. I'm so glad he's back. It was a rumor for a while, but yeah, it's super official. Like he, he's like chilling with, with, with the Punisher, John Bernthal. I'm so good. I love seeing Punisher and Daredevil together. Like they flow so well together because they're both such opposites of each other. But they had such a good dynamic in the Netflix series. So seeing them together again, like, oh, that's cool. I really hope it spins off again into another Punisher series. So many minions. Is it over finally? Oh, nope. God, when we stream Deadpool again, because you know it's eventually going to happen. I'm gonna have to deal with the stupid uh, Quan Chi clones again. The clone cheese. What'd that do? It's closed. Oh, here we go. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. The Ice Age killed the dinosaurs. Sir, this is Loban. Area secure. 
Heading to the village now. Good job. They burn off fucking the Punisher. I mean, in the photos, he's got like he's covered in blood. Roger that. <laughs> so I mean, he he's gonna be very unrated, it seems. Oh, see, this is as far as I've gone. Let me see. Complete the jungle. So I've never gotten this far in the game. Five hostiles visible from this side. Damn. So I did play most of this Low game. I just works. never finished it. No training. That's my entire Sorry, backlog, position. basically. You ready, Victor? Oh yeah. It's hunting season. Going easy, Victor. Get me? The Wraith, shut him down. Remember the prison scene with the Punisher and Daredevil? Yeah, that was an awesome scene. Or Fist try to have him killed. Oh, look, 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 fake Deadpool. That's so bad. That's not Deadpool at all. That doesn't even look like Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> it just looks like a generic guy. Shit. Where's the fourth wall? The, the fourth wall break. See, the problem is that's not Daredevil. This rock or Daredevil. Why did I say Daredevil? Ask him that's not where Deadpool. This rock came from. He says that rock is special. He says it came from the sky. He's telling the truth. Shut it, Logan. You don't speak the language. No, but I can smell a lie. It's a media fragment. Tell him that rock is more important to me than his life. <laughs> exactly, do dollar store, dollar twenty-five store, Deadpool. Try to be nice. To be fair, that doesn't look like Striker either. What the hell are you doing? Not be a part of this. I didn't sign up for this. Yes, you did. You know, I guess maybe they only had like the rights for the look of Hugh Jackman and Lee Shriver. Back off, Wade. My brother, my responsibility. And my. Command. Then again, the guy that plays John Wraith, he he looks like. He looks like him in the movie. I don't know. <laughs> I guess some characters just don't look like their their movie counterpart in any way, shape, or form. Was that the voice of Ryan Reynolds in the game? In the dead? No, in the Deadpool? Are you talking about the dead? Well, no game, no. In the Deadpool game, that was Nolan North. Ryan Reynolds just movie Deadpool. I think it was Nolan North, right? It was Nolan North, yeah. That is not Wade. Yeah, well, apparently it is. And he's all serious. Because, you know, Deadpool's such a serious character. But yeah, like I said, we're, we're soon going to experience the Merc without a mouth. Oh, look, look, look. There you go. You want some of this, too? Come here. <laughs> Fatality. Are there more spike traps? I think Ryan did make a joke in Deadpool 2, on it. Yeah, he did. Remember, they... they wasn't that the after credit scene or something? Where the, the, he goes... He travels to the X-Men Origins universe, and then he shoots fake Deadpool in the head. I don't remember if that was an after credit scene. I thought it was. It is in Deadpool 2, though. It's so... Crazy what they did to Deadpool in this game though back then because were they not aware that like Deadpool has a major fan base? He always has. So like the way they butchered his character, like imagine doing that to someone like Wolverine. Well that guy just went through the walls. Let me see if I can upgrade anything here. Deadpool 2 is a funny moment. <laughs> where he stopped the Green Lantern movie, yeah. Oh, you don't maybe die laughing. Speaking of like breaking the fourth wall, in Invincible, uh, in one of the episodes, it, there's a part where he's like traveling the multiverse, and he in one a part he's very much in Gotham City, standing in front of Batman. Of course, for legal reasons, they can't say that though. But it, it's it's so obviously Batman, and he's like, so you're a guy that looks like a bat, and your name's. And he doesn't say it, but then he's like, you don't think that's kind of lazy? 
I died laughing because I was like, that is 100% Batman. But you never saw the rest of the body and they didn't name drop him. I saw uh, with the creator, they actually, uh, Robert Kirkman, they asked him if that was Batman. And he, he, for sure, he said, nope, that was never meant to be Batman. It's not Batman. Smirk. Hint, hint. <laughs> yeah, it's Batman. I like that scene, though. That was one of my favorite scenes in the show that they did. I'm surprised that they actually got away with that. Yeah, with Batman one, um... Oh, shit. That guy's toasted. Again, all they have to do is not say a name. The rest of the body could look totally different. You've unlocked the X-Force uniform. That's that black one. The black gray one with the red eyes. Looks really cool. Best Invincible Fourth Wall Break is where they discussed animation process. I was laughing my ass off. And it's true. A lot of what they say, I've criticized in animated projects. They also... Oh, yeah, they did have a Spider-Man and, and Doc Ock, too. Yep. But not them. If that were Nintendo, like, for example, if, if Marvel were Nintendo, they would try to sue them for copyright infringement. <laughs> Even though it's not freaking Nintendo and they're, they're legal ninjas. Before I gut you, I want to know why. Logan, welcome back to the war. We needed your powers for the pool, the mutant killer, the dead pool. It was surprising how easy you were to trick. Who are you? Raven? She's real, old friend. It's her. Tell him about the day you died. They gave me a syringe full of hydrochlorothiazide. Reduces the heartbeat to almost zero. Breathing virtually stops. You flatline for six minutes. Kayla's a credit to your race, Logan. She's got the mutant gift of telehypnosis. The ability to influence people through physical contact. It was never real. It was real for me. I don't want to terminate you, Damn. Logan. There is another option. You can live knowing the woman you love didn't care about you, or... Or what? We erase your memory. All of it. That story you told me. There's that classic weapon The guy who goes to get flowers for the moon. I had it backwards. I thought you were the moon and I was your Wolverine. But you're the trickster, aren't you? And I'm just the fool that got played. No, Logan. Sad words. Let's do this. Every memory you ever had will evaporate like it never happened. Good. He was real quick to put that helmet back on. What if he was like, hey, I'm just kidding. It's actually going to explode your brain. What if this doesn't work? An adamantium bullet to the brain will erase every memory. Oh, my sister. Please, don't do this. Remember that I'm moment in the movie? Yeah, it was one of the most iconic scenes. One of the most iconic scenes that never happened. At least they got the adamantium bullet. That was in the movie. Damn. I'm gonna end you. Come on. <laughs> I heal up just like you. Do you even know how to kill me? I'm gonna cut your goddamn head off to start. See if that works. Change your clothes. And I'm not even breathing hard. It's interesting that the X-Men Origins movie didn't even bother explaining about Sabretooth doesn't like react to Wolverine in the X-Men 1 movie. With Wolverine, it makes sense. He got mind wiped, but... I mean, Sabretooth didn't in the movie. We didn't see that happen. But he still acts like he didn't know him in X-Men 1. So live streaming the PS2 version of this after right? I'm gonna have to do that sometimes because I didn't know they had a different game. Not right after now. 
I like those weird ports that like no one played. I actually love this movie too. The game did not spoil. It. I I can't say I love the movie. I, I like parts of it, like the Saber Tooth and Wolverine relationship. But what they did to Deadpool is unforgivable. The game's outstanding though. But it's like the Mummy Demastered. It's a game that surpasses the movie. You know what other movie game is really good? You guys remember uh, when Xbox 360 first came out? They had a Peter Jackson King Kong game. And it was it was a first person shooter and it was really good. It was one of those rare movie games that, that was awesome. It's a pretty easy fight, we're just in the corner brawling. Look at that shit. <laughs> that right there should have sliced him into little pieces. Still think Scarface for PC and PS2 is a really good movie game. Oh yeah. Especially since it was an imaginary sequel to the movie. It had an awesome story. This fight's over. Come on, now he's blocking everything. What you really need to stream is Reservoir Dogs the game. Wait, do they have a game of that for real? Re wait, Reservoir Dogs? That sounds familiar like I've seen the game. I have the movie. The movie's great. Could be you using know why the claws. I you off so much, because at heart, I'm I exactly that what up. you are—an animal. Go ahead, finish it. No, Logan, you're not an animal, and I didn't trick you into loving me. Even when I wasn't near you, you loved me. You're alive because of her. I'm sorry. Striker is holding my sister prisoner. That all changed he real quick. He was going to kill her if I didn't do as he said. I still don't believe you. <laughs> Done. Wait, is that you? Look at that shit. Kayla, go save your sister. <laughs> I'll take care of this. That is not Deadpool. It's so bad. Well, yeah, this gives me PTSD from the this. movie. I guess you're not the merc with the mouth anymore. It has nothing to say. Deadpool. Deadpool has nothing to say. All right. If that's how you want to play it. So bad. The Deadpool. Oh, that's why. He's not Deadpool. He's the Deadpool. Now it's okay, right? Oh, man. This is hilarious. Come on. Uh, die fake Deadpool. So you don't have to be in any movie ever again. He's basically just a bear. F he looks more like Victor Zaz than he does Deadpool. <laughs> oh, man. This is awesome. In a shitty way. I think he's healing too. Yeah, they should have had the real Deadpool come in and shoot him in the head, just like the Deadpool too. This version of Deadpool is also called Weapon 11, right? I don't know. Did they call him Weapon 11 in the movie? I almost want to watch the movie again just to refresh myself. It's been so long. To think that some people that don't know the comics watch this movie and learn that this is the character Deadpool. Like, this is the first time they heard of Deadpool. It, 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 and, and, like, when the actual Deadpool movie came out, they're like, oh, 
That's a guy from Wolverine Origins. These bosses are kind of easy when you just like jam them in a the corner and just button mash. Sorry, it has to end like this. Yep, teleported away. It was kind of cool in the movie, aside from shitty Deadpool. Must have taken that ability from Wraith. It was really cool in the movie whenever Sabretooth and Wolverine were working together at the top of the, uh, the place there. That, it was kind of a cool. If it was another villain that they were fighting together, that would have been cool. Come on. I'd say, but I think this movie's how I found out about Deadpool. Yeah, you're not the only one. Yeah, a lot of people, like, because he, he had a fan base, but we hadn't seen him in any, like, live action version. Oh, shit. In anything. So, this is the first time ever. So, this was his first exposure to a lot of people's first exposure to the character. If you didn't grow up, like, reading the comics and all that obsessively, like, like people like me. <laughs> Deadpool has lasers now? Yeah, he took uh, Cyclops' powers. Because remember, Cyclops, the baby Cyclops was was in here being experimented on. So they just kind of like mixed and matched his genes with other mutants. Again, it's just not that cool. Sack and slash. Damn it. With my ass because he's teleporting away. I like how I lose instantly if you fall if I fall off, but he doesn't. Well I guess he can teleport. He had Will I Am and Cyclops ability, yes he did. So basically Cyclops and Nightcrawler. He had Baraka Claws and then Cyclops and Nightcrawler fused together. Literally had a friend's mom complain Godzilla 2014 acting nothing like the real one from 1998. My god. Actually, you know what? Godzilla 1998 kind of is more like the original Godzilla if you think about it. Because he was just running around, stomping around, destroying the city. So, I mean, you know what? Maybe she's right. <laughs> Iguanazilla. What? Those blades supposed to impress me? Surprised they cut Storm from the film despite her scene being shown in the trailer. Oh, I don't even remember that. She was in the trailer? I don't remember that at all. I, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Nothing they did with this movie mattered. Godzilla 98's a guilty pleasure. Oh, I love that movie, unironically. It's not really like a Godzilla movie, but that that was that was surprises up your sleeve. I don't know, man. That 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 was a fun movie growing up. Like that movie that movie helped me get into Godzilla. Because I knew Godzilla before that, and I had the games. I had the NES game, Godzilla 2 King of the Monsters. These weird, like, grid-style games. I was always aware of Godzilla, but I really started loving Godzilla after that movie. And I was buying the figures and everything. So it, like, reintroduced me to Godzilla. Kind of like Star Wars. Because, like, Star Wars, like, I always knew about it growing up, and I enjoyed it, but... When the special edition came out, it like reintroduced me into Star Wars, and that's where like my love for the franchise really started. Kind of like the '98 Zilla design. Yeah, he looked cool. Yeah, I like him as a completely different thing. I'm glad they didn't like, you know, that's not the Godzilla that we get. Now we have our legendary pictures. Of him. For the time, though. He's got a full freaking health bar. Now I gotta do the same thing all over again? Oh yeah, that's real fun. Got the same boss fight all over again.
You know, do you guys think there's so oh what the fuck? You know, do you guys think there's someone out there? And if you're in the chat, reveal yourself. I wonder if there's someone out there that genuinely thinks this is a better version of Deadpool. There's got to be someone. There's always someone. I wonder. <laughs> Are you here in this chat? Reveal yourselves. That's so obnoxious. <clears throat> there is moms. I I guess so. <laughs> Not me. I yeah. I don't know. There's got to be somebody. There's always somebody that likes a shit character. Always at least one. Me kinda, but I like both. I would like this as a separate character, maybe. This one, I would say he was more like... Alright. There is sort of, kind of, a basis for this in the comics. If you read Ultimate X-Men. In Ultimate X-Men, there is a version of Deadpool that is completely serious. He hates mutants with a passion. Uh, and under his mask, he's literally just like a guy with his head is like in a glass tube and he has no skin. It's just like a skeleton in a brain. He's all discombobulated just like this. So maybe they got some ideas from that. I don't know. But that was very much not like Deadpool. Ultimate X-Men Deadpool is nothing like classic Deadpool at all. He was a completely serious mutant hater that, that, that was a soldier and... Like, he lost his mind in experimentation. So, I, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, maybe that's how they got the idea for this. But I may be giving them too much credit. I really don't know. And I don't even think they called him Deadpool. I think they just called him Wade Wilson. Or Wadey. I think they called him Wadey. Wadey Wilson. I don't know why they changed it. Ah. I wonder if this is the second phase. Oh, see, I think this. I think they start me over from the very first phase of the fight. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think they did. I'm worried about falling off the edge. This fight sucks. Please, for the love of everything holy, don't knock me down. Oh no, so yeah, if you die, you gotta do it all over. Man. What? Those blades? Man, the Ultimate Marvel Universe was a mess for inspiring movies and games suck back in 2000. Yeah, the Ultimate Universe did a lot of craziness, but I was okay with it because it, it was always supposed to be different. Like, from the classic universe, but, um, like, Mojo. Mojo wasn't some intergalactic alien. He was just, like, a fat albino man, <laughs> which is why he looked like that. And he ran, like, a mutant hunting game show on Krakoa. And that's where Ultimate Deadpool came in. He was like one of the hunters. Totally different. That sucks to have in a boss fight. It's padding. They're padding the game. They're padding the game by making platforms that you can easily fall into. So you can have to do it all over again. See, look. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Let's fall out. More saber tube? Maybe it'll pop up. I don't know. Ultimate gave us Sam Jackson and Fury. Yep. That was very much ultimate. And then the regular Marvel Universe ended up making uh, making him, too. <laughs> As Nick Fury Jr. Oh, 
Oh my god, look at that frame rate dropping like crazy. Even the game itself can't handle the shittiness of, of uh, Deadpool over here. I gotta heal. Heal Wolverine, heal! I gotta get away from these pits, man. I'm afraid of jumping because I don't want to like fall off again. It's an instant death. God. This is so shit. This is so shit. I was right there at the end. Come on, man. In the Ultimate Universe, Firestar is the daughter of the Blob. So, I have a question about that. How did the Blob produce a daughter? Who would lay with the Blob? <laughs> of all characters. Well, at least that surgery improved your oh, life. This fight sucks just as bad as the movie one. Come on, man. I'm just gonna have to keep triggering those moments right there so I can get his health down as quickly as possible. These are stupid pits, man, that kill you instantly. It's not even fair. I hate you so much. Deadpool's giving you a lot of trouble on this channel. I know. Trust me, I know. I had enough trouble with the Deadpool game, too. <laughs> now here we are with this asshole. Uh, you know, maybe, would you guys want to see a Deadpool game again? I know, that was years ago, though. I mean, most of you probably weren't even here. I might stream the Deadpool game again whenever, uh, maybe whenever uh, Wolverine Deadpool comes out. Maybe I'll do it again during that time. People will be in the mood for Deadpool by then. That might be fun. Now that I know the brightness settings are in the main, main menu, not within the game. For some reason. Stupid design choice, but... I remember it was like four years ago because that's when I got my dog. And he was a puppy. He was four years old now. At least checkpoint in between phases so you don't have to do all this shit all over again. See, an otherwise great game, they were forced to put a shitty fight in there because it was in the movie. They had no choice. Because this game's a great game, but it is based on the movie, so you gotta do this. Damn you. Thinking of doing the same. Yeah, it's a good idea during Wolverine and Deadpool. The Wolverine hype will be back. That's just now some folks in chat play. What do you feel is the most underrated Marvel movie? I don't know. I feel like there's a good couple. Like the early 2000s era had some good Marvel movies that, like, before Marvel Studios produced them, obviously. Daredevil. I, I liked it. I loved the Daredevil movie from back in the day. I mean, it was very different from the actual Daredevil. Like, he wasn't letting people die in a subway on the train tracks. That's very not Daredevil, but the movie was good, man. And the director's cut was even better because it adds uh, the subplot with Coolie and the Kingpin. And it actually explains how they found the Kingpin in the movie. In the theatrical version, they just suddenly know the Kingpin's a bad guy. But uh, they explain how they found the paper trail leading to Wilson Fisk in the director's cut. Ah! Punisher director's cut was good too, but it only got a DVD release. Never Blu-ray. I hate you so damn much. Take that bull. No, 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 no! My god, the game cannot handle the, those, those lasers. Good lord. You know what? 
you know, I was thinking about if uh, if Craven the movie, you know, it's coming out this October. If that movie was made during the Xbox 360 era, there would have been a Craven video game. Back then, they were making movie video games like crazy. I miss movie games. Because you'd be all excited about a movie and then you could play the game. And, like, it would make the movie more memorable. I just gotta stay close to him. Shh, don't you dare knock me out. Come here. Come here. So frustrating. It's, what a horrible arena for a final battle. You know, there's a documentary about this on Netflix, about the, the, what is this place called, Three Mile Island or whatever, about the disaster there. In the movie, of course, it was a final battle between fake Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> but there's an actual, like, real event that happened, and there's a Netflix documentary about it. I forgot what it was called. <sighs> this is such a bad... Like, this ruins the game. Just This is such a bad final battle. Worst Deadpool fight movie or game? The game. Because the movie, you just have to watch it. I have to participate in this. This is such a bad final battle, man. And you see when the hole starts forming, the game just starts breaking. It starts going in slow mo. Like, checkpoint me in second phase. Why do I have to do the first phase again? Man, they really wanted to expand the shittiness of Deadpool. <laughs> right. The movie fight definitely had some shitty green screen, though. Oh, that whole movie had really bad CG. You remember Wolverine, who was staying in that old couple's house before they got blown up by Agent Zero in the helicopter? Wolverine had, uh... Wolverine was looking at claws in the mirror, and they were very obviously CG claws. So bad looking. I never want to do this fight again. I can't even lunge at him. Well, at that look. You look. Oh, I'm shocked I was able to. Every time I was trying to before, he'd laser me away. You know what? Maybe that's what I'll do. When he's far away, I'll just try to lunge at him immediately so I don't get end up in one of the holes. That's what keeps killing me is the stupid-ass holes. Look, maybe I'll, look. Okay, it's letting me. That might be the key. Handsome Wraith, welcome. How goes the stream? We are in the final battle, I, I guess. At least in the movie, it was the final battle. So this will be my first time actually going through this whole game. I gotta be really careful, though. I And I gotta make sure I don't jump. Because if I jump... He'll knock me into the pit. Just die, man. Just cut his head off. I remember the end credits. Didn't the end credits? Weren't there? Oh my god, look at that! Do you see what I mean? This is such a badly designed fight. It's so bad. They, they, you should not be able to instantly die like that. The finale, curse. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. This is such a bad fight. I'm going to watch Deadpool 2 after this. This makes me want to watch Deadpool 2. I, I need to clean my plate, my palate, as they say, and uh, wa watch a, a good version of Deadpool. Can I upgrade something? Do I have... I have one skill point. Can't, I can't do anything with that. So bad. 
now I almost don't want to lunge at all. That's what got me killed. I lunge at him and he just laser me into the pit. Ma okay, I'm gonna have to do it like after he lasers me once. Like right now, see? I have to do it when he just finishes it because I can't let him do it again. <sighs> Look forward to give you Relink to try it. Yeah, I gotta play that sometime. Wesley, I got a question. It wasn't you that sent me. You didn't send me a PS4 and PS5 game this week, right? I'm trying to find out who sent me. Someone, Living Corpse, did you? Someone sent me a PS4 game that w that's in Japanese only. Something with Gamera and Ultraman and Godzilla. It's only in Japanese. And also, uh, a PS4 game, or I think PS a limited run game. That's like a, a, a king, like a kaiju arena brawler kind of thing. It wasn't you. <laughs> who was it? <laughs> I have no idea who to thank for those. They were just in my PO box. Well, if I don't know who you are, I can't thank you for it. I hate how he can't dodge lasers. It does a lot of damage. Yeah, and when you try to lunge at him, he just lasers you into a hole. Like an asshole. So it makes you not want to even try to dodge it. Normally, I'd say that's the best move to use against them, but it's, it doesn't even do a lot of damage. Look at his health. Barely going down. What would you say is the worst Marvel movie? Uh, the first Captain Marvel. I'm not even just saying that because of all the Brie Larson nonsense. I don't care about all of that stuff. All the off-screen stuff. The movie was just... Boring. I, I did not like the first Captain Marvel movie very much at all. My least favorite Marvel. The, the Marvels I thought was a lot better. A lot more entertaining. Um, a lot of people say Thor The Dark World. I like that movie. Um, the worst mo the worst Marvel movie to me is, is... Well, Marvel Studios, I'll say that. The worst Marvel Studios movie to me was, was Captain Marvel. You got any other surprises up your sleeve? Yes! Come on. Lunch! I ordered those games back in January? Wait, Living Court, the... Oh, you sent me those games? I just got them. <laughs> yeah, I just got them, like... A week ago? Or, uh, they've been in my P.O. Box for, like, a week. I just got them today. But they weren't there, like, because I check my P.O. Box, like, every two weeks. So, they... Holy shit. Well, that solves that mystery. Okay. Yeah, I just got those this week in my P.O. Box. Holy shit. So, that was, like, three months later. <laughs> Well, you probably shipped them far away, though, then that's why. Because one of them is very much a package, though, straight from Japan. CD Shrouded in Shadow and Gigabash. Yes! Okay, it was you. Yeah, so they were in, put in my P.O. Box, like, this week or last week sometime. <laughs> and I got them this morning. I've been going crazy trying to figure out who sent them to me. Got a yes Man sent me some stuff. But they were, uh, they were Funkos. I assume he sent me all that, but he said it was just the Funkos. So this is big mystery. Holy shit. Well, they're here. He's almost dead. You know what? Let me do this. Let me play it safe. And just do my specials area. Oh, no! Son of a bitch, no. Son of a bitch! He teleported. He teleported and then he lays at the floor out from under my feet. What am I gonna do? Ah. This is such a bad fight. I, I can't even. You guys are seeing this. I'm not just talking smack on the game. <laughs> you guys are seeing this. I had him on the ropes. He teleports and just decides to obliterate the floor right under me. Like, what the fuck, man? That's not a game. It's exhausting. 
This is as bad as the Quan Chi clones in Deadpool. Uh, uh, Deadpool. See, dead, more, more, more Deadpool, more problems. I'm, I, I'm trying to be really careful. I, I shouldn't lunge at all, but like, it, uh, I feel like it hurts him the most. If you only had save states, I know I should have emulated this. <laughs> On 360 emulator. Actually, I don't even know if that emulator is safe. I don't think that one does. <laughs> I love those Deadpool emojis. That was him gasping. Even even the real Deadpool shock at this. This is such a nonsense. It really is. I remember Rooster Chief did a rage quit video of this boss back then. I don't blame them. You guys are seeing this nonsense. Oh, this isn't even on hard mode. That's right. Cause I, this is on normal. I couldn't play hard mode. The game wouldn't let me. Because I never beat it. Imagine it's on hard mode. It'd be way worse. Fucking A. If you're watching X-Men Origins, I bet you're excited for the final fight scene with Deadpool. No, I would just fast forward that part. Skip scene. Oh, credits. Move is over. All right. See, if this is one of those bosses that I wish I could just, like, delete one special move from. And what I would pick is not the teleporting. It's the, the laser. Eye laser. Because that's what's destroying me. That, that's what's breaking the floor. I'm not about to break this controller. My pink, third-party, cheap Chinese-made controller. Right here. This should be a checkpoint. This should be a checkpoint right here. You let Strike do that. Outside of the Wolverine, which the X-Men members should get a solo game or movie? I don't know. I Not much, to be honest. I, I was talking about this last Wolverine stream. Even in the comics, like some characters are just not interesting solo. Like Gambit's one of my favorite X-Men characters. He's, he's my second favorite male X-Men character. Maybe. Maybe Colossus. I don't know. But... His comics that were standalone were never very interesting. Same goes for Nightcrawler. Awesome character. His standalone comics are not good. Wolverine's one of the few that can really stand on his own. The others are great characters, but better as part of the team. You lunge and didn't connect. Yeah, welcome to this shitty final fight. Oh, I almost jumped. I almost jumped. That would have been it. No, I gotta be careful with this move. Because when I'm spinning like that, I can't really control Wolverine. And I can fall right off the platform. I, I mean, you know, I'm just gonna stick with basic attacks and we'll do this. We'll like power up the, uh, the claws a little bit here. Fuck. This is so bad. This is so bad. Lunch! Oh, that was a risk. That was a risk. Let's try not to lunge anymore. If I can just keep him like power up, power up. We'll just keep boiling on each other. Just please don't teleport away. If I can keep him on me the whole time, I could do this. If he teleports away and lasers the floor into me, I'm done. It's over. He's gonna get me again. One more time. I do that one more time and I got him. Come on, come on, come on. I don't blame anyone where he's quitting this fight. It wants you to do a counter on him. Thank you! He cuts off Deadpool's head and his decapitated head shooting Cyclops that he uses. As a writer of the movie, that's a comic fan, I'd be like, what is this? So are you gonna keep me here until the tower collapses and kills us both? The thought occurred to me. Why didn't you kill me, Jimmy? The real reason. As much as I hate to admit it, we're brothers. Yeah, we are. And while you try to hide it, 
We're both animals. Not next to the one. Nothing like you. Get used to it. I've got to find Kayla. You know what, pal? I'm always gonna be around to remind you exactly what you are. Where was Saber? Oh, yeah, Saber Tree never showed up. That's right. They were fighting together. Like I said before, that scene was actually cool in the movie. I wonder if Professor X can show up and all the other mutants and stuff. Because weren't all the mutant kids free at the end? Logan. We didn't even see them here. I... Hey, how about we talk about this at home? Nope. Men like us don't get to go home. Maybe you should turn that gun on yourself. <sighs> Just leave. Head south. Walk till your feet bleed. That's awful. Why is the achievement called the Deadpool all separated like that? With the, the, why is the Deadpool anything in this? It's not Deadpool. Some nonsense is what it is. You always wanted to forget what you did. But if you do ever remember me, remember, I always loved you. This didn't happen in the movie, right? Her going in the water? I don't remember that happening in the movie. She just... She got shot and died in the movie, didn't she? How did Fox mistake Wolverine and Sabretooth brothers in arms for real brothers? I actually like them being real brothers. I do like that. It makes their relationship more complicated. Is she Emma Frost's sister I've or something? Been in the Wolverine, movie. And I've always been alone. I'll probably be alone till the day I die. Huh. But that day ain't here yet. Yeah, no, that didn't happen in the movie, right? Yeah. The water scene was from the original script of the movie. You know, that makes sense because a lot of these movie games... I walked a hard road since way back then. Sometimes a lot of these movie games are based on the to. first drafts of the scripts for the Maybe movie. Dead. So much lost. I still have work to do. Got an X-Men suit. I suppose I should thank you. When you destroyed my Sentinel... You forced me to rethink my assumptions about robotics and prosthetics. The hell are you talking about, Bob? I'd heard you took an adamantium round through your thick skull. Guess you don't remember. Pity. Definitely not Trask. I plan on doing some very bad things to you. So much better if you remembered why. <laughs> Trask was a midget. I like Peter Dinklage, Trask. <laughs> This is a cool like, all ending, though, how it's like in the future. Again, not in the movie. I see, this is like Days of sure Future Past time, right? Like we planned, but that doesn't mean giving up. This world may be broken. I've got just the tools to fix it. What? That's so cool. Honestly, the movie would have been better if it ended that way. That's cool. I like that. But it doesn't matter. They didn't do anything with it. <laughs> we did get a Days of Future Past movie, but it was very different than that. That was awesome. I did not expect that in the Wolverine game. Dedicated to the memory of Glenn Angus. That's man, this is such a good game, but yeah, that, that ending fight, this shit. They should have had like a bonus level at the end of like Days of Future Past if you were running out fighting Sentinels. 
hates Peter Dinklage. He looks a little bit different. Yeah, exactly. Must be new haircut, right? There was someone called Tom Fox. Bad ending. I mean, it was the movie. It was the movie. That's what they did. Yeah, but like I was saying before, a lot of games, uh, they give them a draft of the script for the movie, and that's what they base it on. There's a lot of games like that, that the story's very different in the movie because of that. It's an old script. And then the movie gets made, and it's totally different than what they originally gave them. Game hard mode unlocked, no thanks. Yeah, the final battle's gonna be a nightmare. I'll do it one day. Not on stream. I'm done with this game. Great game, but I'm done with it. Let's see how many achievements I'm missing, though. Finished a little early tonight. It's alright. I'm gonna. I'm working on my Mega Man video anyway. I want to get that done for the real final fight. X. Oh yeah, let me do the X Force fight. Actually, you're right. I wanna. I wanna get that. Oh yeah. Look, someone was asking about that earlier. Look, defeated Weapon Eleven, Deadpool, complete jungle. There's an achievement for. Well, I guess defeating Weapon Eleven is the achievement for beating it on hard. Yeah. Oh, this this is prob this is an easy game to 100%. You, will suffer more you just have to do some specific things. I'll do it one day. Oh, by the way, you guys want to see the worst game of all time? One of them? This right here. Look. Double Dragon 2. Wander of Dragons on Xbox 360. This game is... It's dreadful. Dreadful. By far the worst Double Dragon. Let's do the X-Force fight real quick. I want that costume. I'm gonna do that on hard mode, or get the uh, use that costume in hard mode whenever I do it. What do I do? A bonus? Wait, let's do. Let's do the. Yeah, X. What's the? Hey, Cadigan, did you get this one? What, what's this outfit that's locked? Let me get X Force. We'll do. We'll do classic Wolverine. We'll, we'll have classic Wolverine fight him. Dude, we got 40, almost 40 people in here. Wow. Surprisingly busy night. Probably because I put Deadpool. <laughs> Fake Deadpool in the, in the thumbnail. The fact that the MGS5 and not 4 on 360. Yeah, well, it looks like we're getting a second volume of the Master Collection that's going to have 4, so. I like that X-Force costume. That's a cool one also. Oh, he's whooped my ass. Hold on. Wait a minute. Why is he so strong? <clears throat> Wait a minute. Why is he whooping my ass so hard? Thinking on locks after beating hard mode. I wonder what it is. Okay, now he's blocking everything. The tables have been turned. We're getting Sex Force out there. Even a storm movie would have been better than Dark Phoenix. Well, Dark Phoenix would not have been movie. It's so weird that they use some generic ass aliens that very unknown from the comics, by the way. Instead of the Shi'ar, which were heavily involved in the Phoenix storyline. Whoa, that man countering his attack took a chunk of health away from him. Let me see if I can pull that off again. Hit me! I think I can do this. Look at that, man. That takes a ton of health away from him. Doing the counter attack. Oh, shit, that almost killed me. I think I got him. Yeah, X-Force outfit. Let's see what it looks like. You've completed the challenge. Let me load up a level real quick and see what it looks like. See you later, Latrice. Uh, yeah, let's, see. let's play a mission. Whatever, I'll just pick one. We just want to see X-Force costume. That was from the newer X-Force comics back, well, newer back then.
Is it even possible to counterattack Deadpool? Yeah, that, well, that's what I was doing when I was we're, we're button mashing, pressing X real quick. Yeah, look at that. See, that's awesome looking. That, th this will be my hard mode outfit whenever I actually, uh, whenever I actually play hard mode. But yeah, I know it's a little earlier than usual tonight. Usually we go at least for like another hour, but we'll cut it off a little early tonight since we finished the game and, uh, I'm currently working on the X, not X-Men, um, the Mega Man story, chapter two, Dr. Wily Strikes Back. That's going to be a fun one. So that'll be covering Mega Man 2 and, uh, Dr. Wily's Revenge, which is part of the Mega Man storyline. Um, I'll get that out as soon as possible. Um, I'm finishing, probably finishing the script tonight and do the editing this week. And I, I would like to get it up by the weekend, but we'll see. Then I'm going to jump right into the Resident Evil story with uh, Operation Raccoon City. Against, uh, that's going to be very, very different from the original version I did. But yeah, thank you everyone for hanging out tonight. Thank you uh, everyone for all the support tonight. And I will see you, uh, if I don't see you in the comment section for the Mega Man video, I will see you on stream Friday, 7 p.m. We're going to do Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and uh, unlock some bikinis and such, <laughs> apparently. So we'll do that. But yes, um, everyone have a good rest of your week. and. Hopefully I will see you on uh, Final Fantasy. I will see you then.